Alright, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Let's get away with uh, thank you, Twitch. Never would have known. Never would have known. <laughs> okay. I have been seeing the play for a while, but this hasn't felt right. And you know what? If you'll capture, you should be capturing. Thank you, capturing. <laughs> yeah, let's just go in. Uh, ooh. Well, oh, I do like the screen, though. Fans hold back the wave of advancing enemies. I do like these scenario things. Crossroad. Silent Porter. Dunes. I do. I do like this. So the objective is lead a breakthrough force across a passive Baskar terrain while under enemy fire. Destroy 75% of artillery, but don't lose any vehicles. No man's land. I ought to be told what are... Because I think the balance is good. Never mind. Never mind. That, that, that was a lot louder than the main menu. Like a lot louder than the main menu. <laughs> Okay, that's actually really quite loud. I'm gonna have to go to settings and because I went, uh, it's a kind of quiet. Let's turn down the master to sixty percent real quick because, oh dear, lore is that is that loud? And I was not expecting it to be that loud. So we got pre-generated hall, which is actually wrong enough looks a lot like a tiger. Style hall. Uh, we do want it sloped. We slope the uh, side as well. Uh, do we put a turret on it or do we just go casements? Needs a mantlet, Jarvis port, and gunner sight. Kaiser 38T for Germany. That's the Matilda 2 UK version. Mm -hmm. uh, Center mantlet only to gun shields, possessing the plate it's mounted on. Azimuth plus minus. Sherman US. Panther. The SU 85. And squared. A generated turret for the base, anyway. I think we're going to need a little bit more height for the mantle. And what type of mantle do we put on the thing? Uh, we don't want mirror. So just want one of them. Look at Matilda style. Max pressure minus 12. There's no spent. Uh, well, it's got the turret, so that doesn't matter. Caliber 75 millimeter, 400 millimeter shell length, 50 mils of velocity, penetration 41. Is that increasing velocity? It is slowly increasing velocity, but not penetration. Wait, no, 95% burn off is in 75. 75 meters. Let's go 903 millimeter. Uh, da, 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 what you call it? Who's gonna call it?
Does it break do anything? Minus recoil. Oh, it reduces recoil. I kind of like that most break. Ammo hull. APHE. 48 rounds, let's call it. 46. Yeah, 46 will do. It's probably good enough. Max suppression is 7 degrees, which is actually not too bad for a turret. Actually, really not too bad. Actually, let's go back to compartments, because A, I don't need the whole this. No, I don't need the turret. Give me the hull. Thank you. I need to stretch that back. Actually looking fairly modern-ish. Sideways a bit more, that way it covers. Yeah, that should do, I think. Well, maybe. Hatch there. And a hatch there for the driver. Driver's viewport. That way you can also drive head out. Gunner sight there. I actually need to enlarge this turret. A little bit, because it's a little bit too small to have the uh, crew in. Actually, we only need three crew. Driver Gunner Commander. Oh, we need a loader. We do need a loader, actually. Never mind. We can't go <laughs> World War One. Driver's Hall. Actually, no, there's enough passenger. No, you're the loader. Can turret. Uh... We want 100 percent efficiency for everybody. So we need to adjust the turrets a little bit. But that also went off center slightly. Again, that's off center slightly. Uh There we go. Let's make the hull a tiny bit wider. And then we'll go back to making the turret a little bit bigger. Also squeezing it slightly on the, give it a little bit of angle. Uh, 
uh, sideways. That way I can hopefully bounce a little bit of armor. What's the armor? Oh, it's 10 millimeters. That needs to go up, but uh, I do like this. This I like. I like this a lot. <laughs> Let's go to crew. Uh, I guess we need to go back here and go just shape in order to get that off. All right. Crew. Hatches. There. Commander Scopola. There. If you do scale is shift. Oh, there we go. Scale it down a little bit. Make it fit. Scale this hatch down to there. There we go. It all fits. Excellent. Can I actually then change the shape of the hull a little bit? To do that, hold on. I can. I need to move the turret back slightly. Actually, in that case, I need to move the hull a little bit longer. Because otherwise it's well, it's clip where the engine is. <laughs> engine needs exhaust, doesn't it? Engine in the rear. I mean, this is only 10 ton tank. It's not too bad so far. Transmission. Fuel mass capacity. Let's go with 900 liters. No external capacity. Tracks. We can just, ooh, we can just ooh, mess up with the tracks. We'll leave the sparkers in the rear. Idler per axle two. Yeah, two per axle because it is a wide track. We don't want it getting, you know, broken down. Let's raise the rest angle slightly so it has hopefully more ground clearance. I guess big tension bar. Uh, idler. Yeah, that's those ones. Road wheels, praxel. Uh, no, we just need two. But that has changed the track diameter. That should maybe be a little bit larger. A little bit larger than the rope wheels. Yeah, that should work. Get some grouses already in. Uh, let's see if we scale down the... ...diameter slightly. Some extra rope wheels. 
Not interleaved. Yeah, that should do. Turn roll is enabled. Wrestle two. I need to change the rust angle now. Because the road wheels were touching the return rollers. <laughs> That's really something you don't want. Uh, you can only have three gears. Okay. All mass. It's actually not too bad. Like, I use, I mean, this one might be the closest for camouflage. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not camouflaged. 100% not camouflaged because, uh, I mean, it's green when everything else here is gray, but, you know. That's going to cause problems. Let's reduce the belly armor, so down to 10. We'll increase the roof armor. Lower plate at 30 millimeters, effectively 37 from the front. Do the angling at 36. I'll reduce some ammo. Can I just put these at 15? Turret we can do a bit more with. Put them on the cheek. Put them on the roof. And 25 on the side. And 25 there. That ring should be fine as well. We will have to probably reduce the angle on the uh, side. Just to get a little bit more volume. And maybe extend the there a little bit. There we go. It's a bit wider than I would have liked, but it works. It's only you know, 13 tons. It's not like it has. It's not great belly armor, but then again, if it gets hit in the belly, it's not too much you can do. Actually, I want to increase that sloping angle if I can. We'll, we'll drag it out a little bit just to make sure it doesn't, you know, look strange, but it also gives a little bit more internal room. But now that's effectively 50 millimeters out of 30. It's actually better than the upper plate. There we go. Front on, that's effectively... Uh, the gum mantle itself, though, is... A weak point. Sure, can I do anything with the mantle? For ammo? Mm. Mounts. There we go. There we go. Now the, uh, ironically enough, the mantle is basically bulletproof. Just to bear out a little bit longer. Parliament 
10, metal 18%. We'll save the Mark 1. See how it does. Gunner Little Commander, no crew debuffs. Anti infantry, as if that's not a thing in. Utilities, just for display purposes. Lights. Well, actually. I'm about the headlight and a tail light. So which is antenna already got an antenna. Riveted. Oh, that's all fine. Should be all fine. Alright. We'll update that save. Yes, overwrite. Missing gunner's in the gunner's compartment. Gunner designer. Well, gunner. Why are you down there? Why is the gunner? Fires cannons hurt. Yes, that is correct. Uh, hmm. Uh, cancel right mouse button. There it goes. But there's not enough room. There's not enough room. Let's try this. Place a gunner down in the hall. Oh, there it goes. That works. The fastest turret in the world? No. So I think there's a built-in sight on this. Hmm. Let's see, the gear's not changing. And the fellow tanks are getting stuck. Except for one. One of them has actually managed to get there fine. Oh no, there's another one moving. I mean, so far the suspension's doing fine. We're absolutely redlining this engine, though. Driver moving to position. What do you mean, driver moving to position? Oh, engine's being damaged, because... Something. Why is the engine getting damaged? Oh, so driver, why are you not shifting up? Why do you not shift up? Actually, settings, controls. Maybe that's why. Maybe I have to do it. Key mapping. Steer, throttle, mission fire, lock aim to do abandon vehicle, decrease, increase toggle lights, detail info, FR, attachment, command vehicle. Order to do, hmm, taping send merge to. I think I might have the transmission wrong. Because it's running up against the limiter at 1700 RPM. 
And there's three more gears in the thing. Don't know why it's only using gear one. Oh, so. We are so far below the cannon barrel of this site. It's not even funny how far below the cannon barrel we are. But you know what? It kind of works. I would not want to serve on this crew. It's the front line. Ooh, there's a Zeppelin. Can we shoot a Zeppelin? Oh, that went low. Hold on. Adjust and fire again. I went low again. I think it's taking evasive maneuvers, too. Oh, those are artillery shells coming in. Ah, uh, so yes. I think the gearing on this transmission is wrong. Alright, hold on. Path to design, here we go. Hold on. First step, uh, we need to adjust this turret. A wee little bit. No, not remove the turret. Now it's off center. Hold on, go back center. Why did you undo? Thank you. Thank you very much. Please allow me to move you. There we go. Don't know why it wasn't allowing me to just move the thing. Oh, so now because we've done that, we need to make the hall bigger. Oh, so that's a massive angle on that hall. We don't need that much. We'll do that, and then we can hopefully move the turret forward. No, I guess we can't. All right, then. We can at least change the shape a little bit. Allow the gunner's sight to no longer reside in the hull, because that is a terrible spot for it. I want to move the loader. Can I move the loader? And move the commander back. Hopefully give him more room. I mean, that's causing problems. The turret's not too small. Hmm. Shrinking the turret rear will not help the problem. Oh, so that was not what we needed to do. Because that was just messing with the mantlet and everything. There we go. We need to enlarge the turret that way. Enlarge the turret there. There we go. It's stripping up our weight a little bit, but, you know, it, it's fine. <laughs> Hopefully be fine. You know, put the hatch there. Commander can move back there. The gunner should have plenty of room. Really don't know why it's complaining so much. You should have plenty of room in that turret. And it's up the weight a fair bit. Uh, we'll just save that. Mobility. Powertrain, clutch braking. Or twin transmission. Lost turning in place, move turn, maintain speed, requires two transmissions. Uh, support with a small number of gears. Uh, let's go clutch still. Engine. Heavy duty engine. Transmission wise. I 
increase the ratios. That might do it. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. I don't know if I've just absolutely destroyed this engine or saved it. I could have just absolutely destroyed this engine. Cylinders, give it six cylinder. Max target 4,000, min target 1,000. At all 400, max RPM. Can't change that max RPM, it seems like. Let's try a min 8, 900, or uh, 600 RPM. Oh, displacement changes RPM. Five hundred RPM. We'll go with that. But that also reduces the torque, which we do need. I mean, that's one hundred fifty kilowatts. Uh, seven point four uh, power to weight ratio, effectively, which isn't terrible. I don't think. Maybe. Then complain about the gunner, and the gunner can actually see where the barrel is. Hmm. Yes, uh. Well, two problems here now. Two problems we need to fix. A, uh, we need another sprocket wheel. Because that is not going to work. We need another road wheel. Forward. We need another one, just in general. Because otherwise we will just bounce off the back. There we go. It's not ideal, but it should work. I just messed that up. It was in a good spot. I just messed it up. No, you, you stay up there. Oh, there we go. Because I, I do need that road wheel in order to keep the thing from falling apart. Actually... Maybe not the correct spacing. There we go. That should work. Let's bring that back in general. Uh, track tension will be a bitch on this thing, though. Transmission. Let's try dropping the... Uh, that and then the engine it does need more RPMs Come on lights let's go with a heavy in general and then just leave it alone because uh Oh, that's the gears. Hold on. Okay, that's how the gears work. It's R. So did I? I think I'm gonna mess up this uh, transmission. Let's try giving it more. Of this. Yes, overwrite. Hmm. That 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 didn't work. That was the exact opposite of what I want. Okay, so it needs to be lower. It needs to be the exact opposite. Gotcha. Understood. There we go. I mean, other than the fact that it's still not shifting up a gear.
Wait, it's moving faster. Don't know why it's not shifting up, though. It's very, very strange. A cannon should work. Go off. There goes the rest of them. Oh, they're actually engaging something. Where are they engaging? Oh, they killed an AT gun. I don't even see the AT gun. Or anything, rather. Good job, number of whatever you are. Oh, there's no radio, so I can't command anybody. <laughs> Off we go. Nothing else to do, but go on. <laughs> I mean, this is, uh, I think it's, I mean, it's both better but worse than the, I know the Black Bands Legion did uh, one of these. Good while, well, actually that's where I discovered the game was BPL going and playing in. They made the long tank. I mean, it's going over these hills, it's not getting stuck. Could it be going faster? Yeah, 100%. Wish I could, you know, tell the engine to give more RPMs, because the engine's getting damaged. Don't know why the transmission's just not shifting. No radio operator. Did the transmission break down? Huh. I have really no idea why it's not going and shifting. Like, it should shift. If I understand it correctly. Oh, so I like how they lay out little things sort of... Ah. Yeah, the engine died. Because the transmission... Oh, the now people are getting hurt. <laughs> oh, oh, they're behind the hills. That's a shame. Ah, hmm. Yes, the transmission is definitely a problem. Oh, I think one took a direct hit. I think they took a direct hit from a... I do like it's venting out the hatches. That is a very nice touch. All right, Mr. Transmission, why are you not shifting? Just copy reverse. Okay, good. Let's trap the idle, maybe? Oh, wait, that might be target Max's shift. Oh, uh, I get why it's not shifting now. Let's let's just quickly make so that can actually probably shift. There it goes. I figured out why. <laughs> That's what that was mean. Excellent. Well done, lads. Uh, onwards we go. I mean, it should probably shift down sooner. But you know what? Our engines aren't going to explode anymore, so I'll take it. I mean, when you come to a stop and a return, it does shift down, which is good. There we go. Excellent. We still have to worry about the transmission blowing up this time. 
<laughs> oh, they're actually engaging something. Already. Well done, lads. Well done. I like how I just came in and had... Oh, they took out an AT gun. I think. Well done. If this had higher transmission limits, this thing could actually probably be motoring along pretty good. I mean, it's 14 tons. So it's you know, not the lightest thing in the world. Actually, ironically enough, it is probably this area here is going to be the most dangerous for it, considering uh, artillery shells. It doesn't have much roof armor. Oop. Oh, that is a problem. That is a problem and a half. Little thing for us collapsed. <laughs> and it doesn't have the crossing capabilities to quite get across that trench. Let me move these backwards. Or more kind of center. Got a very odd off. I mean, it looks better now, but as I say, it looks like a very odd off shaping thing. So, for shifting down, we'll put a target there. We'll get 1200 as the target max there. We'll go down to 400. They add a couple cylinders. It shouldn't destroy too much. Idle is 200 RPM. That should do fine. That should give it a lot more torque to hopefully pull itself out over a trench. Hopefully, I mean... Gonna have to go like this and just hope that it uh, manages to get up over it. Hmm, actually, it was already as high as it can go. Uh, is there a resting analog change? Suspension itself. Try dropping the resting angle slightly down. So try reducing some of the torsion bar stuff. I should get a lot of empty space now in the hull. Like a lot of empty space. Like enough that we can just kind of shrink this thing down. By a fair amount, actually. By a very fair amount. It almost looks like a little miniature, like, Challenger. Like, modern day Challenger or Black Prince. Or Black Knight, rather. Main battle tank. Like, well, it bears a resemblance to it, anyway. Cannon's obviously different, but. There we go, this thing's motoring along pretty good. I mean, the turret's slow, but I mean, this is probably the best we're going to get for a turret. Rotation-wise. Okay, should probably drop down at about... At a higher... Rather sooner. But this should hopefully clear the trench. Hopefully. Actually, actually, we might need to go the opposite way. We might need to make it longer. Considering how the, uh, well, the thing for us to drive over it collapsed when we attempted to drive over it. We 
might actually need to go the opposite direction, go the length. But you know what? We'll see. Worst thing that happens is we get stuck again. Best thing that happens is we go onwards. Oh, they already took out one of the one of the bow bars for crossing with an artillery shell. Well, give it a try. Oh yeah, no, it needs to be longer. Hundred percent needs to be longer. I mean, it's got good elevation on this turret. How far can it go? I'm curious now. How about there? That's actually that's that can actually still engage something if there was something engaging it. Kind of. But it does need actually more length. I thought I could get away with making it shorter. I need to make it longer. Oh well. Actually. Constraints to verse. Let's uh, increase the max traverse speed of the turret, but we'll slow down and increase the amount of time it takes to actually get up to that speed. Alright. This should, fingers crossed, everything going well, should now clear the trench. Hopefully. Might need to change the rustic angle a little bit too, just to uh, allow the transmission more room to work. But it's it's working as it is right now. Definitely would not want to be the uh, guys having to uh, do the track tensioning on this thing, because oh boy, that would... this is a big long track. And I suspect it would go very poor very quickly. I mean, unless those two are stuck, they're actually, you know, able to still traverse this pretty good. Okay, not sure that's a good sign of our design or a sign that we just start out in the advantageous position. I mean, it could be worse situation for this vehicle right now, in a World War One scenario. We could be at Vimy, <laughs> at trying to advance with our tank. Oh, it actually no, it collapsed, but we have just enough, just just enough length to clear that trench. Ha ha ha. Uh, we don't want to fall in that shell crater, though. We don't want to fall in that shell crater, though. We got high centered, and we're falling in the shell crater. No, no, no! We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We desperately do not want to do this. Tank, this is not what you want to do. I had to mention Vimy and how it could be worse. It could be at Vimy. Now it is worse. Well, can I shoot that gun from here? No. Well, that's, that's far too short. Hold on. Oh, getting closer. Oh, no, we're sliding down the hill. <laughs> Just slowly sliding into the hole. Oh, that's actually right beside it. Hold on. I think I'm shooting over it. Slow. Oh, nope. A little bit low. Ooh, almost. 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 We got her. We got her. Come on. Come on, Betsy. Ooh, so very close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Blow up. Blow up. Blow up. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, the transmission, the suspension definitely needs to change. 
there we go, exploding. Because this guy was stuck due to the idler actually hitting the ground. So, roasting angle's got to increase. Other than that, I think this thing's got a fairly good design. I mean, it, it won't save if it gets hit by a direct hit by a uh, artillery shell. Doesn't have the armor for that. Doesn't have even have the option to get enough armor for that. We're crossing trenches and hopefully not falling into holes. It's doing pretty good. There's another gun there. Uh, hmm. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. yes there's, there's a problem here. Abandon that vehicle. Hmm. Yes, I see. I see. I see. I see. Yes. Yes. Uh, return to designer. Suspension. Come here, suspension. We need to... Uh, Uh, we need to increase that up. It needs to be a higher resting angle. Increase the dampener a little bit. That way it's, you know, not the idler impacting the ground. Alright, save. This should no longer hopefully get stuck. Hopefully. I mean, actually, if I wanted that case, I should probably move the idler back a little bit and up, but... Eh, you know what? We'll consider it as a test run. <laughs> we'll give it a test. Do some science with tanks. Very, very expensive piece of machinery. Just going to do casual science. I mean, so far, none, none of the other ones have gotten stuck. So far, they've all managed to make it. Should probably... I mean, actually, eh, stays in third gear. Get up there. I mean, again, I wish I had more RPMs to work with. On this engine, but, you know... We don't. <laughs> Which is a shame. But you know what? None of them have gotten stuck yet. Why is it only in second gear? Why isn't it going up to third? There it goes. There we go. Uh, one of them may have gotten stuck trying to go over a hill. Oh, nope, there he goes. He came around the other side. Excellent. And we have just enough length. Just, just enough length. <laughs> oh, and the engine on this vehicle has been damaged by that artillery round. It didn't fall in a hole this time, so that's progress. So long as the engine keeps working, we'll keep driving this one forward. I think another one did get taken out by a, a hit to the engine. Oh, and that's potentially another one taken out. Oh, that time that almost actually supported us. Oh, that's a surprise. Welcome to No Man's Land. That's a shell crater. Don't fall on it. Please do not fall on the shell crater. I took on an AT gun as we fall into the shell crater. Yo, I had to mention Vimy. This is basically what happened at Vimy with the tanks that were there. Oh, they collided. That's why they're not going anywhere. They're, these guys are actually still fine. They just need to not take a silly route. And that's another one gotten stuck. 
I think. Do you manage to fall in the trench somehow? How did you manage to fall in the trench? I say that's probably how you manage to fall in the trench. Yeah, you managed to fall in the trench. Uh, avoid that shell crater. Yeah, you got stuck. Because that's a bad angle to approach at. Yeah, that idler probably needs to move. So we got maybe two operational vehicles. If I say don't. The artillery just knocked out one. That's a shame. So we got one mobility killed. One that could probably back up. It just, the AI just doesn't know how to back it up. And then this one is still fine. So as long as we make it over to the artillery, we will be fine. Avoiding any massive shell craters. Instead of avoiding any massive shell craters. Not going into any massive... Not, I, I mean, guess we could just drive out the other side. There we go. Let's change the angle. Let's see, where's artillery targeting, actually? Oh, is he engaging? I think he's engaging something. Is he engaging the artillery? He is. Good boy. Good boy, even though you're just sitting... That was a tank. Well done. You saw that a lot sooner than I did. Like, a lot sooner than I did. And you blew it up. Excellent. Let's try and knock out that artillery gun while we're still here. A nope, little bit higher. A little bit higher, and then we'll blow her up. <laughs> oh, third of side. Almost. Knocked out, and there's a tank there, too. Hello, tank. That was low. That's low again. That was over. We'll get there eventually. We'll hit her eventually. Am I shooting over it? There we go. Knocked out. I say, I don't think I need to increase the barrel length on this thing. Or any changes to shell length and all that. I think it's good enough for shell length. Uh, if anything, I'm going to make change, I might just lower the diameter of the ring of the turret. Actually, you know, that's one change I could have made, is I could have... Hello, 88. Goodbye, 88. If you held your fire just a little bit longer, you would have killed me. But you didn't. You rushed it. And now you blew up. Well, you didn't blow up, but you, you died. Now. This should be a good area to cross. Yep, good area to cross. And we should have plenty enough ammunition to take care of the rest of the tanks. Over here. They're not tanks, but artillery. And any other tanks that are around. Although, I think the future... Is that a tank? That is a tank. But see, the future of war might be different if this was the first, you know, tank that rolled off the battle... onto the battlefield. It's something like this. Versus, you know, the Mark 1s and the AB7s. There's another, there's another uh, little tank there. I see you. Oh, that was the ground. There we go. B4 Batten. Are we assaulting the French? Such allies? I think we are. I think the Baden was a French tank, and that's like a proto B1. 
Are we playing the Germans? We like to play. Might be playing the Germans. Also, I do like how you get, every time you get a kill, it adds something to the barrel. Okay, let's not go up this hill. Like, I mean, we can't go up this hill. Don't have the horsepower to actually go up this hill. At least not that way. Yeah, that's like a proto B1. Come on. You can do her, I believe. I do believe. There we go. See? I knew you could do it. Yeah, that's like proto B1s. Along with the French, you know. I think that was actually a French design, something like that. And then these, like, D1s or whatever. Or basically Renaults. Knock off Renault for FTs. Well, not really knockoff, because they are, I guess, meant to be the FT of the game, potentially. Maybe that's what the AI came up with. I don't know. All I know is that we may have made it, made it over here, and we're now blowing up the artillery. Which, actually, that's mud, that's mud, that's mud, that's mud. I got stuck in the mud. Blow up that one at least. Okay, we can slowly kind of move through this. Okay. It doesn't help that we immediately jump to third gear. That is a problem. We are immediately jumping to third gear. That's a mobility kill. On us, because we are now stuck. I mean, at this point we can just get out, like, run over with the uh, a shell and just fling it at the artillery and we'll probably blow it up, but... Let's see, can you back up? You can back up. Yeah, no, you just picked a... And then I got you stuck again. I got you unstuck. I immediately put you back in and got you even more stuck. Alright, return to the designer. Scale, layouts. Let's increase the width of the belt a little bit. Maybe help with flotation. Along with some thicker tracks. We'll also adjust the idler. Still want that wheel though. But we'll adjust the idler up here. To hopefully reduce the amount of times we uh, get stuck. Banging into the ground. actually increase the uh, resistances on these gears and decrease it on that one. Let's try this out. Well, that went immediately into third gear. I mean... It appears to be working fairly well. Unless, oh no, he didn't get stuck. I was gonna say, unless he get high centered. Yeah, other than the possibility of getting high centered, it appears to be working. I mean, transmission two is probably. Not ideal, considering it basically drops down immediately, runs back, revs back up again. It's actually basically third gear doing all the work. Which is resulting in things getting stuck. A 
let's do it like that for the ratio. Let's try this out. Uh, we could actually probably, I think third gear is a little bit too high now. Third gear might be too high. Because we're bumping up against the limiter, we weren't before. Actually, no, we can do this and get normalization. That should hopefully work. Uh, let's try it with lower. There we go. Yeah, there we go. This should work. And now they're all over on that side. I was going, where did the guys go? They're all over there. That's where the guys went. They didn't go get the milk. They went to go and try there. Also, lights work. I mean, we don't need them because it's daytime, but... Basically, make sure that friendly uh, guns don't accidentally shoot at just red lights disappearing into no man's land. I think hills are still a major problem. Oh, nope. He got over it. He managed to get himself up. I think. Did he? Yeah, he's gotten himself up over. Alright, this transmission can actually climb hills like that now. Which is a surprise. Didn't really expect that. I mean, to be fair, we got a massively powerful engine pulling something that doesn't need that massive power. Like, it's 16 tons, and we got, like, a, a V6 running this thing. There's artillery. It should be fine. We should have no problems. Artillery, uh, I mean, unless you get your tracks taken or something like that. It made it. It wasn't happy doing it, but it made it. Uh, I think we're taking the engine damage from artillery fire, which is not ideal. I mean, not much you can do about it considering it's artillery fire. We can't stop it yet. That's why we're going over there to stop the artillery. Oh, that's actually an anti-tank gun. I see it this time. And we killed it. First shot. Ah, you wouldn't drove yourself into a hole. That's one mobility kill. Due to holes in the ground. Uh, there was a second anti-tank gun before. Where was it that they killed the anti-tank gun at? Because I don't see it. I mean, I see the artillery. Not the anti-tank gun. Unless I don't get... Is that it over there? We just took a shot from something. Up there. Oh, it's a little B1, D1 thing. Bouncing off our side. Oh, we're hitting the ground. Hitting the ground a little bit, but it's fine. Oh, I think we bounced. Huh, that never happened before. That's new. That's a new... Yeah, I think we're, we're bouncing. We don't have enough penetration at this range. Oh, got it. Heavy 2. Whatever that is. Oh, we're sliding into a hole. Don't go into that hole. I 
just go left and go this way. It's fodder over here. So I think that was the anti-tank gun over there. I think. No, I can't see it over there. Huh. Get away, on as we go. As I think the other guys get stuck on each other. That's a shame. I would greatly prefer you guys not getting stuck. Come on. Oh, we just got shot from something. What shot at us? There. Goodbye. Oh, missed. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, we're now very bouncy. Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, I probably should have put a dual clutch or dual transmission into this thing for steering instead of uh, the clutch steer. I was shooting at us. Oh, there. Hello. Oh, I missed. I was low. Hold on. Please hold. Please hold. And here's your number, sir. One moment, sir. Here's your number, sir. I think all three of the other tanks are all in one shell crater. And the AI doesn't know how to get them out. That's... I think we go right here. Yes, I think we go right. Despite the fact the tank wants to go left, we want to go right. Go right, please. Please go right. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Because this transmission is um, not the best transmission in the world. I mean, it works, but the thing is, the band where in gear two, where it has a lot more torque than gear three. Actually, I don't know what the problem is. We're not telling it to shift down fast enough. So it's basically not shifting down until we're stopped. That's, oh, I took out the gun itself. Direct hit onto the gun. That's one way to kill an AT gun. I mean, I got the, basically the same size shell as the thing, so... If it works, don't question it. <laughs> I mean, it also doesn't help the engine is currently damaged on this vehicle. Oh, that's a steel anti-tank trap. I mean, we could just kind of try and shoot the gap between them. Or we could just start rotating and go into this hole, which I'm not a, not a fan of. not a fan of this hole. Yeah, that's what the problem is. Let's turn to design our transmission. To engine. Let's set the min target to 700 for shift down. Let's so up the displacement as much as we can without shifting to a higher... Uh, or lower RPM max. Alright, that's helped. It's actually helped with the mobility too, because now it has more torque to play with for turning.
And you got stuck by a tree. Immediately. Well done, lad. Well done. You are the best driver in the academy. Right there. And you can't figure out how to just simply back up and go around it. Ah, well. Never said the AI teammates were the smartest. I mean, the challenge of this game is to design a tank, so... It's alright the AI is a little bit on the uh, oopsie-daisy side. In my opinion, anyway. It doesn't have to be perfect AI. But, I mean, so far we've got three tanks moving forward. And one stuck, but he's just stuck on a tree, so... If we need to, we can always just drag him out and drive him over. No man's land. It's not like he's stuck stuck in a hole or something like that. Actually, if they increase displacement on the engine, it might actually be able to uh, get out of holes. Let's see. This should prove no problem. Yeah, prove no problem. I mean, we did slow down a fair bit. And then we were... Immediately knocked out. Oh, we switched to the guy at the rear. Oh, they took out two of us with artillery. Direct hits. <laughs> ah, well, nothing you can do about that. You can't design... I mean... That's a big frickin' shell landing on top of the tank. Not a whole lot you can do to stop that. In my opinion. Because it's pure luck where the artillery shell lands. So, ain't our fault. Let's go the same direction that we were originally going, but hopefully, you know, not run into our, our body. Oh, so we're now clipping along at like 11 kilometers per hour, which is... For this era... Very fast. Oh, you fell into a shell crater. Never mind, we have one tank left. So we have to go, oh, we can just go this way. And then our number two tank can go around the other side. But no, there's, there's one tank now. There is one of us, because one of us decided to fall into a shell crater. Or rather, decided to drive into a shell crater. Which is the same thing as falling into a shell crater, I guess. It's the exact same thing, actually. Right, let's get across this trench, then we'll deal with that AT gun. Best we can, anyway. Oh, that was high. We'll just lower the barrel a little bit. Or put an aim rather. That was low. Oh, come on. We can do her. We can do her. Blow her right up. Come on. There There she goes. Yes, my son. Yes, my son. Alright. Well, I mean... I mean, he might be able to extract himself by going backwards. We'll see. But I say, watch the kill if you come up, and if uh, artillery kill. Oh. Oh, that was low. I think we got the armor to actually survive this. Just perfectly fine. Oh, low. I think that was, that was over. Into the left. There we go. Killed you. And then there's... What's over there shooting at me? It's another one. We're sliding into a hole. Don't do that. Sliding into holes. Yep. It's not advised right now. Oh, so we're very bouncy. Maybe that's the dampeners. What's causing that bounce?
Well, that was low. 100% low. I mean, we got the armor to stand up to this. That was definitely low again. There we go. Knocked out. Onwards we go. Hey, yeah, maybe... Maybe this design should probably have a... A lower ratio for gears. Maybe. I mean, well, it is fast. We are running up against the limit constantly. Oh, there's another AT gun. That's got shy. I saw it. Well, well, I missed. I missed horribly with that. There we go. Knocked out. Don't fall in that hole. There's two right there. I didn't even see them. Hello, morning lads. Morning lads? I, I'm technically correct, I guess. That was high. I just took out some portion of the drench. Drench? Trench? Well, I, I mean... Not like any friendlies are over there. Oh, there was mud at the bottom of the crater. That's why I was having such trouble getting out over it. Last time. Oh, but it made out this time, no problem. Made out over here, no problem either. So increased displacement definitely worked, I feel. We are, however, going to use these duck boards to cross over the trench here, 100%. Well, as much as we can, just to keep our nose as high as possible for as long as possible. That way we don't, you know, fall into the trench. Oh, so there's a tank up there. Uh, we might be able to shoot it from here. I think we're shooting over it. Because I'm also trying to shoot over the hill. Yeah, I'm shooting over it. We'll just advance over this way, knock out the artillery. And then angle for those tanks. Considering they are busy engaging the guy who's stuck. So they're not actually a major problem to us right now. Which means we can ignore them. Oh, I think the guy who's stuck just knocked out. Yeah, he just knocked out a tank. Well done. Despite being stuck, you still managed to knock out the tank. Your driver may be incompetent, but your gunner is right on point. We knocked out another one. Well done, Mr. Gunner. Uh, oh, he's engaging the artillery now, too. Hold on. Uh, well, we're being shot from two directions right now. That was the ground. Come on, ground. I should have cleared. There we go. Now we gotta knock out you. Because you got a bigger gun, I think. I mean, you don't have the armor to actually penetrate us. I still don't give you easy side shots, though. Knocked out. There's another one over there we can knock out. That's the ground. I mean, we can also knock out the ground. We're also going to run out of ammo. If we're not careful. That might be knocked out already. Oh, there's a sneaky boy. Hello, sneaky boy. Look at him there. He was actually being quite sneaky. Unfortunately, we can see him. And we can shoot over the hill. Well, he can't. Uh, get the barrel down. 
Barrel down. Barrel down. Oh, that was over. There's a little tiny dot I'm trying to see. There we go. And kill. Good. Excellent. And that's that artillery dead. There's another gun over there. We'll go take out that gun before we go meos meander our way over the other direction. Because yeah, I think they're all knocked out over there. All the tanks. So I don't have to worry about them shooting me in the back. And you're dead. You're done. And you are also done. Well cooked. With a slight smite of uh, explosives. Smite of explosives? Yeah, we'll go with smite of, smite of explosives. This we can hopefully avoid any mud. Well, look, plenty of artillery pieces to destroy over here. Oh, that tank's still alive because I think it's turning. Not that it matters because we win. Yeah, we lost two tanks to do artillery. They lost seven. We got 17 kills. Received 63 hits and blocked all of them. Uh, not bounced, not bounced ready. Excellent. Took a little bit to get there, but we got there. <laughs> Alright, survive or escape. Let's go generate a turret again. So we have a nice large turret to work with from the start. Need a mantle. Don't need symmetry mode. Let's just scale this down. There we go. Uh, but we'll get right on the this here first, actually. Put the crew. Patch there. Patch inside there. Does that have a that has a uh, site. Excellent. Mine already. Commander's cola. I mean, it, it's enlarged the size of the turret, but that's Fine. And then we can mess around with the hull and all that. Fine firepower mantle. This placement blocked. Why is the placement blocked? It was fine just before now. We could just mount a big old SU. Big old turret in there. And that's better suited for a flat turret. Twelve degrees elevation. Need a driver's port. So crew and add driver's port real quick. No effect on that, but I just put a stowage bin on the back. Before you go on and move on to Firepower and all that, so cannon. Uh, 
Yeah, hundred millimeters. Here we go. Nice long barrel to this thing. <laughs> what does recoil do? What is that? What does that do? It does something? Real time three point four seconds. Burn off is tiny. APHE Hall. Well, I mean, that's not going to stay forever because the shell length is going to increase. Calver. Go 80, 88 millimeter. Now we're going to do. Well, not that big, obviously. Burn off is pretty good. Recoiled. Do you probably need more penetration? That should do it. There's some other thing. Guess this is just look, I guess. Around the exterior. That'll do. Uh, that muzzle brake. Actually, it needs to be a little bit larger. That way, it, you know, looks correct. Even if it's a very interesting gun. Nine hundred millimeters. I don't understand what that blue thing coming out is, but yeah, it's doing something. Uh, clearly, we need to increase the size of the turret. There we go. That fits. Barely, but it fits. The easiest way would have been just raise the height here. Hall, since uh, oh boy, do we have space in the hall right now? Reduce that angle a little bit. Oh, so those are big old wheels. <laughs> this thing's clearly not designed to go over any type of trench at all. Like nothing. Uh, do before there's no antennas. Yeah, we'll put an antenna on. Why not? Even if it probably doesn't have a 
a gunner, but stoplights. One headlights. At the infantry, I mean, it doesn't really need a machine gun. Oh, I could have put a trench crossing tail. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. That would have helped last time, probably. Maybe. Mobility. Engine. Give me an exhaust. Right there. Six gears. What's the engine look like? For six cylinder, one. Yeah, that. That. That would probably maybe work. The engine. Yeah, that will probably that will give us plenty of power, considering we now have to armor this thing. Considering ten millimeters is not going to do it; it's not going to cut in the slightest. I mean, that's belly. The roof armor though can increase against any possible artillery rounds. Upper and lower sides, both upper and lower rear. Turret needs armored. Turret roof is going to be very weak. So as it is, we need to expand that turret because it. And the diameter of the turret ring. As well as, oh, we can increase the basket space and that will do it. Let's get 270 new meters of torque. Get a higher. Yeah, about four seconds to get the max turn speed. Get the height of that down a little bit. That will bring us allow us to bring up the roof armor of the turret. Uh, before I forget, firepower, ammo. Oh yeah, we're carrying seventy rounds in the hull. Which should be fine. Crew is relatively well distributed. We got one tank for this, so we're probably going to fight our way out fully. Yeah, we're going to have to fight our way out, but you know what? That's fine. Because of that turret. Now we'll just increase the basket space a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Basket space can go up. That allows us to bring our t armor to max, effectively, which... We're effectively making a proto-tiger slash mouse. Which is, yeah, you know what? Not too bad. I mean, it's basically it's interwar tank, but you know, it's got an 88 millimeter gun, weighs 27 tons. We'll just call it the Mark II. We'll just call it Mark II. And 60 millimeters of armor all over. Now, who's shooting at us? Oh, up there. Those little fast boys. That one's dead. They are really fast boys. You're dead. Hello, buddy. You picked a bad spot. The wrong side. Oh, that hit the ground. Oh, well. Let's do the one on top of us first. Oh, that was the ground again. 
Because it might actually be the pantry that's around that run actually now is 60 all over. You're dead. However, something I've noticed is this transmission is not ideal. Considering it is redlining the engine. With this heavy engine in it. You're dead. Next man up, I guess. <laughs> Sorry for you, buddy. But you're next man up. And I'm all set to go and kill you. Yeah, that trans... Uh, I think I know what the problem is with the transmission. The target is set too high. Oh, I do like the little scratches and bounces you can see on the hull. Hold on, let's return to the designer, because that engine needs to be slightly tweaked. Oh yeah, it's trying to hit 2500 when it's at 2100 maximum RPM. That's the problem. There's your problem. Oh, SWR. Oh, I guess these are Swedish tanks now. Hello, Sweden. Sorry, Sweden. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. I feel like you can kind of. Well, what passes for the shell, considering normally you shouldn't really see it like that, but effectively the shell just bounce on the ground. Yeah, these guys have no chance of penetrating us. That's a different tank, though. That's a bigger tank over there in the background with a bigger gun. That might be able to get through our armor. I do like that the tanks just kind of slowly roll down the hill. Alright, I see you up there. I saw you up there. Come up from up there. You need to... There you go. Hello, buddy. Your time is over. And my time is now. <laughs> I love just blowing shit up. I absolutely love it. Alright, well, onwards we go. Find out what the blue French tank is. Clearly, is an early model of the uh, S tank. Very early model. Real prototype here. It's also very slow, looks like. Oh, that actually bounced. Okay, then. That was a first. First time this gun's bounced. But it's bouncing again. Okay. Also, we morphed into the ground slightly, but don't worry about it. We're just digging a new trench for the new war. That was over. Alright. But again, we should be able to absolutely massively outturn this thing. Oh, and our armor held up. She worried there for a second. Oh, that's a very rapid fire gun. Extremely rapid fire gun. And there we go. Destroyed all targets. Model 1 AT-1. Yeah. yeah, it actually would have probably taken out most tanks as an AT tank. Alright, next mission. <laughs> Excellent. Win the battle. Okay. That's not ominous at all. What? No, no, this time. This time, let's go for Tank Destroyer. We don't need symmetry mode. We don't need two guns. Ammo. 40 rounds should be enough.
So it's got a gunner's viewport already. Driver's viewport. Commander Capola. But the firepower. This cannon. Torque and all that's fine. One fifty, not maybe one fifty, one twenty, three long barrel length, get max out of it, max velocity. That's only ninety millimeters. That's 104, but there we go. That's more penetration. That's what we like to see. Of course, now it's all going to change due to the fact we're going to have to adjust the shape upwards and inwards and re probably re reduce the back. Uh -huh. Reduce the back there. This is like a E25, whatever. Look where all the tanks are. All that. Uh, roof armor needs to go up. This is just this. Vacating the fact that the side needs to increase. Not that wide. We don't need the wide boy. Now we're going to have to change the transmission or suspension slightly because that's not going to work. Not in the slightest. That's a. Well, that needs to be. Well, A. Fixed to not being that. Uh, we'll drop those like that because if we get around to the side, this thing is dead anyway. So, you know, if it gets around the side, it's already dead. <laughs> Effectively. And I don't think anything's going to run the side, really. Actually, what's the depression on this gun? Five degrees, so. Actually, not the. Best. It'll have to do. It will have to do. Alright, mobility. Well, a components turn it back to shape so we get that out of the way. So, so, uh, crew quickly just put a uh, crew hatch there. So, mobility. Uh, power train tracks. Uh, road wheels. Change the road wheels. Slightly. Yeah, that will work. Uh, idler road wheels. Spacing. Let's increase the spacing. Raise up the rest angle slightly. Let's turn down the diameter. Diameter of those those road wheels, because those are those are big old road wheels. Let's take up more space in the hull. Yeah, that makes a bit of sense actually. So we'll just uh, quickly go and. Pull this all a little bit backwards. V6. Transmission there should be fine. Cinder leader should be plenty. Uh, suspension wise, we're just gonna raise that angle a little bit. That way you got room some room to actually go up and down. Novel concept that that I know, but uh, tends to help your suspension if it's not resting on the other part of those feet. Suspending. <laughs> it's a very, very novel concept. Alright, engine. Let's actually put a symmetry mode on real quick. Put some vents on it. Do, do, do. do 
do that. There we go. That should work. We'll just save it as the Mark III. It doesn't need a fancy name, I don't think. Actually, a firepower before we do that. Uh, muzzle break. Gunner sight is fine. Man looks fine. Muzzle break needs one. 100% needs one. It almost dug its uh, barrel into the ground. That has no azimuth. There we go. Give it some torque so it can actually turn. Kind of important for your gun barrel to be able to, you know, turn. It's it's not turning. I know it is turning very slowly. You have to be pointing in the right direction for it to turn, but it does actually turn. Oh, there they are over the header hill over there. A little desert war with our E25 SU100 or 120s machine things. Is that a shell exploding in the air? Oh, these are Matildas. Oh, I've been shot. Well, that's not very kind of you now, laddie. Oh, I just missed. It went right over. Oh, we're being charged by little fast boys. Oh, yeah, you that you don't turn around to the enemy. Did that bounce? That bounced. That hit and bounced. Okay. Oh, so there's a very big tank over there. Now you're dead. Are being shot in the flank and that flank and that's a bad situation. Come on, get the barrel down. Barrel. We keep sliding down the hill, that's why. Oh, that hit the track and bounced. It actually physically turned that tank. Alright, I need to get down off this hill. Otherwise, I will become a target and die. Uh, hand deliver. Oh, I missed. I hit the ground. I took his track, though. <laughs> You're mine. And you can't hurt me. And I can kill you. <laughs> oh, they're behind me. <laughs> They've collided. Excellent. Oh, that bounced. That hit the underside and bounced. There's the one behind me too still. No, 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 no. You stay there. You stay there. You stay over there. Thank you for backing up. Oh, that shot through you. Hmm. That was not what I intended. Oh, his track's gone. Oh, there's a third. Mm, I gotta show him my ass in order to kill, keep this guy from shooting, shooting me in the back. Luckily, he's not shooting for some reason. Stop. Stop. Stop this. Stop this. Oh, that hit the ground, I think. Of course, now the moment I fire, I actually get the turning angle I need. You're dead. Oh, here comes the battleship. You're dead. 
think you're still alive. But I don't think you can hit me. I need to kill you first. I think that bounced. Oh yeah, I think that ridiculous armor, I remember. Okay, I gotta back up real quick. And deal with you. Hello, buddy. Goodbye. I cannot have you on my flank. And possibly shooting me in the rear as I maneuver to actually engage. So I have to deal with this guy here. I should be able to tank a shot from the side. He's dead. Excellent. Oh, there's more over there. Where'd my last tank go? There should be there's another one over here somewhere. Well, let's get around the side of this guy very quickly. Oh, they almost took my gun barrel. That would have been very unfortunate if they actually managed to do that. If they managed to blow that up. That would have been... So they hit it on... Well, they hit it on the right side. I mean, they're, they're actively skimming shells off the roof. Oh, that was that guy over there. Let's say, who's shooting at me? Oh, the guys over there also as well. Thankfully, I had an angle. You should not be able to penetrate me. Unless I, you know, slide down the hill. So I gotta deal with these guys first. Because then they can get around me. And they can kill me. If they get around me. I mean, he can kill me if he gets around me too, but... It's not as nearly as much of a thing as if... Uh, he, these guys get around me. So you need to die. Thank you. I don't know why I keep saying thank you, but I mean, it works. They're dead, so they can't kill me. Bottle 1 AT. Exactly as thought, he couldn't penetrate. And now I'm going to slowly just kind of roll down the hill. A little wrecked graveyard we've created over here of just dead things slowly burning away. Which is wonderful. I'm sure Zorg is very pleased with this uh, wanton destruction. Oh, I guess my other tank is down over this hill on the other side, considering they're actively engaging something. Oh, they're actively engaging it. It's stuck, I guess. Must have had its tracks destroyed. Which, I mean, is not unreasonable. It's definitely a weakness of these things. The Mark III is, uh, well, if the tracks get destroyed, it's game over. Hello, uh... Oh, that actually bounced. Didn't quite penetrate. I thought I would actually be able to get through that. Hmm. Yes, uh, keep just driving towards me and showing me your flat front plate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I don't know where the other one of me is. It's around here somewhere. That's all that matters. There is the last one. Slowly trundling its way forward. Oh, that bounced off, off the upper hall. Well, not the upper hall, the mid hall. U upper plate. Upper slope plate of the mid lower hall. It bounced off the hall. It's just, you know, it's fine. That took a track. We're just gonna slowly just. It's like the Monty Python. We'll call the draw. As, you know, both tracks are destroyed. 
Oh, that that missed. I was trying to take his other track and go. No, just call it draw. That sprocket wheel on the unopened track is desperately spinning away. Listen, it's trying so hard. It didn't got so far, but in the end, it didn't matter in the slightest. It did not matter at all. Across the border. Alright, we'll give this a turret. There we go, and then we'll just open it up sideways. Uh, we don't need that long of a turret, though. We still want some angling on it. That should do for a turret. Angle that in there a little bit. Firepower will put the mantlet in. We don't need two mantlets. We have a gunner sight already in it. One driver's port. One commander's hatch. Excellent. Now we can mess around with the guns and all that. <laughs> well, first off, actually, mobility. Uh, track suspension. Uh, that angle needs to increase. Immediately. Otherwise, uh, well, the suspension's going to do nothing. Being per perfectly honest, the suspension will do nothing if you leave it alone. Uh, then, then again, it doesn't need to be that high. And that should be high enough. Let me put some torsion bar stuff. That should do engine wise. Put a medium engine in it. There we go. Give it six reverse gears. And then also make sure all those gears actually work. There we go, that should do fine. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Alright, fuel. And we'll increase the fuel to 900. Fenders are fine. Tracks are f should be fine. This should do fine for suspension. Now we need to do the gun. Increase the ratio. Ammunition in the hull. We'll go 50 rounds. So you can penetrate 75 millimeters right now. Uh, muzzle brake. I like the locker bulldog muzzle brake. Oh, so make sure that these are long barrels. Recoiled. Fifteen degrees depression is actually really good on a tank. That is insanely good depression on a tank. Fifteen degrees. Like that is absolutely insanely good depression. Use the caliber a little bit. Increase the length in order to keep penetration up. 195 millimeter base. Actually, the shell length has reduced depression slightly, but that's fine. 50 rounds into hull. Our compartments. Armor time. Roof armor's got to go up. Like everything has to massively go up. 
turret. It's actually shape. We can increase the basket space to get a little bit more space in the turret in order to account for the armor thickness. So drop the height of the ring. Increase the torque. Uh, decrease the speed ratio a little. We don't need that much torque on the turret. I think. Now that should do fine. It's all angled, so now we can get the extra armoring done. Oh, that comes as a cheek right there. Yeah, that's a cheek. Oh, dear. You got no chance of penetrating that. That's like a thousand millimeters. Even modern day rounds could not penetrate. I mean, we're going to have to increase the basket space. Do need to. Okay, maybe not uh, 90 everywhere, but mid side 90, yeah. Maybe. There we go. There we go. This should... It's not ideally perfect, but it should work. And the... Uh, there we go. Okay. There we go. The Mark IV. Actually, just, again, go to components. That way it turns that off. Actually, did I do the full armor on the hull? Yes, I did. Except for the belly. Then again, if the belly gets hit, uh, such a has gone uh, terrible if the belly gets hit. So 85mm gun. Under 24mm penetration. Actually, if I had another segment... How does that help? It increases velocity. Which is good. Extra velocity is always nice. Also increases accuracy. Uh, let's not say that's recoiled because that's the same barrel segment or thickness rather. Yeah, we'll say this is the Mark IV. And that should work. Yep, that's working pretty good. Excellent. This is what we want to see. Hell, it's even taking out trees. Most excellent. Oh, we just have pure armor piercing, but that should be fine. That should be perfectly fine. I we're not even going down for the field like we could be. We're just driving over top. Hello, Gordy. Welcome in. We're designing tanks right now. <laughs> oh, that's an anti-tank gun. Hold up a second. It's dead. There's another one there. Hold on. Get back. Get back. Rotate. Aim. Rotate. Aim. Rotate. Aim. Where'd it go? That's it there. <laughs> I guess the other tank's still engaging something, maybe. Oh, that's what's engaging. Hello. Couldn't tug. Where'd you go? I was looking right at it. I don't actually... Oh, sneaky. Just far enough away I couldn't really see you in the dark. But yes, how are you doing today? <laughs> that I'm not immediately being shot at by... Number what I guess, an endless forever wars and... Have a fleet fight you and enemies to see some means wrecking up tension with everybody else in the area. Yep. Ooh, 
We actually had a brown seam off the top of the turret. Good thing I put armor on that. It's a good thing I put armor on that turret or else we might have died. But hold on, that's a... That's a big tank. Oh. What the dickens are you? Oh, we bounced. We bounced. Like, we have 120 millimeters of penetration. I suck in Britain, France, and Italy. Well, there was a French fight. Yep. Oh, we got it. Yeah, Alan won. Okay. That's a hell of a name for a tank. Oh, it was right in the area we need to go into. It's a good thing I gave this thing tons of armor. Yeah, that's one. It's even bigger than this thing. And I was thinking this is a pretty big for a tank. For this mission, just sneaking across the border. Does this one capture or destroy all targets? Took three minutes. Took longer to build. Oh, we actually lost a tank, I think. One of them got knocked out. In this once by basically making a go-kart use for Oh yeah, the escape mission. Where you just go, alright, off we go, goodbye. Or you kill everything like I did. Uh win battle. Excellent. Good job. That can be fairly easily arranged. Uh Give me more height on this turret. There we go. We'll angle it actually back slightly. That should be plenty of space in the turret. Even though it's kind of tall. But, you know, it'll be fine. Uh... I slapped on armor, a small gun, one by it's like bigger car. Yep. You know what? <laughs> Main battle take 1930s. Uh, honestly, that's entirely possible to do. So far, I found. Got some hatches there, got the driver's viewports. We only need one driver. So let's put them right in the center of the hall. Don't mind the fact that technically the space is clipping through the hall into the ground. Don't worry about that. Got the gunner's sight in between the two guns. And we'll scale down the cupola a little bit. That's actually not enough space in the turret. Oh, X toggle symbol. Oh, I didn't actually know that. It's kind of like Kerbal in that way. All right, we need more turret space. I mean, I do have two guns in there, so understandable. <laughs> Would prefer not to have to uh, use that much turret space, but it's understandable. Make the basket bigger too. Yeah, that also it also helps the turrets actually mounted center line. You know what? Let's not make this tank symmetrical. This tank is already off symmetrical. Let's keep it off symmetrical. Uh, yeah. I mean, as is, I got armor the hull first, which consists of going us turret. Uh, we want hull. Thank you. Uh, roof of the hull. Put 50 on the belly. And do, 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 because uh, we have the space. Uh, hello, basket. That's plenty of space now. <laughs> Hopefully. But now I gotta get these guns to somewhere where I'm happy with them. No, I want two guns. I want to keep two guns, please. Thank you. Fire delay zero. Uh, caliber 100 millimeters. Long barrels. 
on the Paul roof. It's always super steep angle. Uh, I mean, just in case uh, artillery comes in. You don't know when artillery might arrive in the game. Because I've had tanks knocked out due to artillery hitting them. Put that on it. Let's see, that's... Uh, 128 is actually the maximum we can get, 127. What if we add another barrel? That will, that will help out. Ah. Uh, oh, well. Alright, well, I can... That's good to know. That is actually good to know that, you know, basically don't need roof armor. I will still put, like, you know, 45 millimeters of roof armor just in case. Because, you know, depending... If it comes over a hill at the right angle, it could actually penetrate. So, not as much roof armor, but still some roof armor. Which means we've got more space to steal from the... Via the basket. As soon as I finish making the guns. There we go. That works. You can drag on the barrels and stuff manually and put numbers. The rest of them is up to 6 meters. Yes, I don't think it is required. Hold on, what does it do for that? Massively increases. Uh, let's see, that doesn't do anything for penetration. Actually, it does a little, little bit. It does a little bit. It does a tiny little bit. Seven meter long bear. <laughs> Uh, recoiled, recoiled. Don't know what that actually does, but you know, we'll just set them all to be recoiled barrels. Time to maximum rate minus 15 seconds. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Let's put the armor base up. On both cannons. And then the gun mount needs, uh, More. It just needs more. <laughs> let's make sure they, yeah, let's make sure they can actually both, you know, work. Because uh, otherwise. Okay, I think they're basically actually already the same. They're the same. Good. Good. That actually stays. Alright. Uh,. Yeah, you know, forty rounds might be, should be enough. Hopefully, will be enough. I hope it's enough. Uh, because I need to actually add armor to this turret. Small ship gun turrets go straight to the side of a battleship. Yep. Yep. Uh, Sixty millimeters on the roof. That's a good angle. Like that's, will probably bounce. Uh, Sixty on the rear. Uh, 70 on the sides. Give me more basket space. I actually need to increase the size of the hull. Uh, give me the hull. We'll make her wider. There we go. And then we'll just steal that for the basket. For a turret. There we go. The basket inside this thing must be absolutely gigantic. Uh, engine, because we do need to put, you know, exhaust for the engine. Uh, put a heavy light engine. It should work. Probably a bit light for uh, that, but it should work. Fuel should be fine. Uh, do... Yeah, that should do fine. Hopefully. I mean, there's only two of us. Mark five. I mean, I might get more of us if I didn't have two guns. <laughs> I like the idea there's just two massive... Hmm. I see a problem with this turret. Oh, we have actually an ironically made a ship gun turret. Because they operate independently of each other. <laughs> Max displacement. Yeah, that probably would help. I mean, the engine works. The engine does work. It moves the vehicle forward. That's all it needs to do. But, uh...
need to go back to designer because we need to, uh... Hi, Torque. We need a lot more Torque on this turret. <laughs> okay, so the turret's not turning. I don't know why. Unless it's messing up because there's two gun turrets and all that. Causing confusion. Maybe it's because it's offset a little bit. Yeah. We make the hull yeah, wider and larger. I'm just trying to get the turret to turn because I have a turret on it, but it's not actually rotating. And I don't know why. Ah, hmm. Maybe it's because the diameter is absolutely tiny for the ring. Maybe that's it. Let's see. Survey says no. Uh, the ring determines how high the turret is off the hull. Yeah, fixed turret it is. Exactly. Oh, that's a Cromwell, which is dead. Hmm. So I can't fire my other gun. Where do they remove that bunch of gate? Yeah. So I have a second gun here, but it's not letting me shoot it. Oh, we both knocked out the same target. Nope, that's not what... I don't need that. I'm just resetting the reload by pushing buttons. Like, there's a second gun here. But I don't know what I've just done with that. I'm, I'm pushing things, experimenting in this... Man of War? Why are we in the 17th century now? What's going on? Oh, so why are you just wandering around lost? Check the key bindings. Yeah, let's... Key bindings. Do, 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 abandon the vehicle. Attachment. Do, do, control. Command. Do, next. Nope. Nope. I don't know. Do, 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 shaping. Scope shift. Aggression. AD. Recoil fire. Normal system is lock aim. What if I accidentally locked the aim? Nope, that's not it. Oh, that hit the ground. We're gonna tell locking just doesn't work. Yeah, I think it's meant to be like you—you you know, if you have binoculars, where you point at it and then you tell, "Oh, fire at." Yeah, I just got a second gun that I can't fire. Maybe it needs a gunner. Oh, wait, hold on. I've realized why it's not firing. It needs a gunner. <laughs> One gunner cannot fire two guns, I don't think. Hold on. I, I want to... I want to check the crew. Hold on. Ah. Yes, I have to... There we go. Let's, let's just quickly save that. Oh, now the turret turns as well. Excellent. Excellent. I've fixed it.
Oh, wait, no, aim lock does work. It just stops your turret from moving so you can go and pan around. Kind of. Maybe. Not really, actually. <laughs> evil, evil laughter of joy. How to blow some stuff up. Does it fire both guns at once? No, it still only fires one. Okay, well, we, we figured out how to get the turret to turn. You probably can. Probably can. Can link cannon. Cannon itself. Well, I'm even going to fire group one fire delay, give it a small fire delay. That might do it. I think you check your ammo racks. Also, oh, APHE. Oh, 50% longer. I mean, I don't have space in the turret. You can shove, oh, we can actually shove a ready rack in the turret. Actually, that works. You can shove 16 rounds in the turret. Now, putting it to fire group, putting a delay, and cause the uh, thing to actually fire. No. As far as I can tell. Hold on, let's. let's watch from exterior. I think only one gun's firing. Hold on, I, I need to point somewhere and check. Yeah, only one gun is firing. Maybe if I set it as two. Skew as two, no fire delay. I don't understand what this link is. Either. see key bindings. Is there a key mapping for so the vehicle, gun convergence, lights, detailed info, blank segments, cruise control, extinguish fire, command vehicle. Oh, you can cycle vehicles. All right. Pause UI, spawn menu, target overview, undo, do, select, rotate mode, skill mode, translate this in general. No, but, hmm. Power and horsepower, that's fine. Hold scope, hold aim lock, indicator, bunch of size, yeah. hmm. Because I know pressing one and two just causes a reload to happen. Two button. It's still reloading because there's only one loader. Nope, I fired that gun. Now I've hit one. Nope, right click's not doing anything. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. T22, I guess we're fighting Americans this time. Engine off. Hmm. Maybe it needs a second a little one, two boxes. Yeah, I know. I don't know what they do. I know it's probably different fire groups. I don't know how to select them. I think the one and two just select ammo. Arrow keys? No? Hold on. No, none of them work, huh? It's a mystery. Real shame, because I wanted to make a double barrel tank. I don't know why it's not letting me oh that's the ground again hmm I think we're just gonna play around the designer for a little bit in this map just to figure out why it's Numpad doesn't do anything. I wonder if it's something unnamed. There's a gun convergence there. Like there's a gun convergence thing. Fire left mouse button. Toggle rotation scale. Mirror rotate. That's performance stuff, probably. Yes. Oh, no, that's, that's stuff about the vehicle. Okay. Hmm. Does the loader load both guns? He might. Loader. Aha! There's one loader. <laughs> Found the problem. So will I stretch the turret a little bit? There we go. Like the cannon. Uh, primary, fire group one, fire delay, uh, two seconds. Oh, go up, space goes back? Okay. No, that. Oh, well. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. No. We must go farther. How how far would it let me go? <laughs> That's a twenty meter barrel. Uh, I think it's going to be... Okay, that's... Unfortunately, it uh, can't actually elevate itself. It, it doesn't have a... 
Okay, so we need to tone it down slightly. <laughs> tone it down very, very slightly. 20 meters is unfortunately unattainable yet. <laughs> unfortunately. Been great though. Just oh yeah, here's a 20 meter long barrel. Sure as possible to kind of physically lift. Yeah, I was going. Uh. Let's just experiment. See how long it will let me go. Yeah, which means chopping off 10 meters from the gun. This is a shame. Actually, more than 10 meters. Well, it should work now, hopefully. Oh, wait, no, it might have worked anyway. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I keep going back. I think I'm even misunderstanding how the thing works. We're going to do science. Science time. Time for science. Yeah, but two loading bars. There we go. Warning, science is happening. Warning, science. Warning, science. No, we don't want weird that. We just want... I just want to grab... Oh, wait, no, hold on. What have I done? That's fine. I just want to... There we go. Just want to grab. Just want to grab. There we go. Okay, 24 meters. Yeah, very... It's Kerbal Science, but it's science nonetheless. Can the barrels elevate? It can elevate. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. With this, we shall shoot the moon. <laughs> we don't have to land a rocket on the moon anymore. We're just going to shoot it. Okay, one causes reload. Hit, <laughs> hit Tokyo from here. Probably. Hmm. Now, why are you not firing? Right, only zero. In the same group. I should I putting one to you to fire group two? Yes, there's only one of us. Oh, they both fired. Excellent. I managed to get them both fire. <laughs> it's because they're both at the fire group one. <laughs> I just love this absolutely stupidly long barrel swinging around super fast. <laughs> this is great. I love this. Oh, well, one bounce, one killed it. Excellent. A 
That's another one dead. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Oh, I shot over it. Oh, well. <laughs> ah, this is wonderful. Oh, it blew up. The railway goes so long that the show just starts to slow down inside because the gas is starting to lower pressure outside. Oh, we can fix that. Yeah, I mean, the burn off is 95% burn off is three meters in. What if we just. I don't know. Do. Make it a 122. No. I'll just quickly go. Hello, Hull. Hello, Hull. Uh. Yoink. And a, a yoink. And then turret. A, uh, hmm. Oh, just let me move the turret, but not add the turret. Oh. There we go. Actually... There we go. Uh, Hull, we need to actually make you longer. Germany game would like, no, you got an old version of our secondary guns from. Yeah. I'm not sure either. Well, we got tons of basket space now, so, uh, firepower department, hello. I like how we're out here for the firepower. <laughs> Just out here? Oh, because our ammo is mostly in the hull. Hold on. Put like 10 rounds in the hull. Oh, you're, you need to be in the turret, not the hull. That's part of the problem. Let's increase the hell out of that. It's going to press to 11 degrees. <laughs> what is it? A 160mm gun. Uh, 22 second reload time. Which is not great, but... Uh, not much you can do when you're flinging a shell... I mean, it's moving at 700 meters per second. Oh, can't make it go any faster. I can make it go a little bit faster. Other than that... That's... But she's got, Captain. Because all the limited guns on the outside, so it's just a free... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the burn-off is now 8 meters in, instead of 3, so it's... Missing gunner's sight. Oh, because the, sh the stuff got moved. Oh, also fire cannon turret. Ah, that's caused a problem. He no longer has the space he needs. I guess we have to turn tone down the uh, ammunition storage in the turret a little bit. A little bit. We'll start 10 rounds in the turret. Where's the commander's cupola section? The commander's in the turret. Oh, so I no longer think these good. Nope, they can't elevate. They can still elevate. But I say, I don't think they can elevate anymore. But they can. It's made it a lot slower to turn. Somehow. Yeah, exactly. But they can still do it. Yeah, I think I just obliterated him. From the face of the planet, just kaboom, and it's gone. <laughs> oh, 
I love it when you can do stupid shit. Oh, so uh, we have a very long reload, so we're just gonna casually. Oh, that's selecting our ammunition storage, I think. Nope, that's just racing ammo. Well, I don't think a 6.3 is gonna exactly light. No, not exactly. And it's on a tank. Oh, hold on. I've just noticed our suspension has absolutely collapsed. Our suspension has absolutely collapsed. Give it some dampener and all that. Give it some torsion bars. Because uh, this is a 73 ton tank. I only just noticed the weight. 73 tons. It's being found a 4.6 four, four cylinder. Oh, it still absolutely collapses the suspension. <laughs> Well, that suspension is not nearly strong enough. There's <laughs> three fifth dream mark and gun, yeah. Oh. Oh. It kind of almost works. Let's just scale it up a little bit. Increase the resting angle a little bit. Turn off all the dampening. Try this. Think wire torsion bars would help? I mean, I'm, I'm about to limit for how wide the torsion bars can be. Like, I'm, I'm running out of space in the, in the hull now, which I mean I can fix by increasing the weight of the hull. It's getting longer. I mean, torsion bar to amber. It makes the hull taller. Oh, that is true. I mean, diameter is maxed out now at 100. As is this. I'm going to put the tracks wider as well. Also, maybe thicker tracks. It's very roomy in the. We can just store all the ammo in the world we want down in the hull. We got some. Much bigger basket. Uh, let's also. Oh, that's a giant sprocket wheel. We don't want a giant sprocket wheel. We do want a big sprocket wheel, though, but we don't want an absolutely gigantic sprocket wheel. Oh, it doesn't do anything now? Oh, I was just going to use that too in order to increase the road wheel diameter. Or width. Hope just to try and hopefully just slow down the absolutely massive amount of just. Yes, I am ready. Width again. Am I weirdly early? Maybe we'll sink in the mud. Yeah, we got to later. All right, one hundred tons must be under ninety tons. Ninety-eight, eighty-nine point seven four tons. It counts. We'll go with it. <laughs> Oh, the suspension didn't collapse. It worked. It's being driven by a four-cylinder engine. Ah. <laughs> Literally, Howard and Abrams. Yep. Being driven by a four cylinder engine.
Did I hit it? Oh, I missed. I was short. I just missed big room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep hitting escape. I don't need to hit escape. That engine. 24 liter V8. Ah, no. Four. Okay, 100. It's a 40 second reload, yeah. Well, I think that's because the uh, ammunition is coming out of the hull first. Oh, so you need more cylinders? What is that? What's that? Eight? I need ten cylinder. That's, yeah, 2,700 Newton meters. Oh, so, uh, turret, can I steal any more, uh, turret basket? I can't. I've already stolen all the turret baskets, face I can. Maybe, maybe tone down the length of the shell a tiny bit. A tiny, tiny bit. That way we can put more ammo in the turret and just remove the, uh, just move to a single turret ammunition storage. Go for 34 rounds. But you're not the primary cannon. My no primary's on there. That should do fine. There we go. Actually, lost a little bit of weight, but you know what? Still complain about the commander's cupola for some reason. There we go. Eighty tons moving at twenty kilometers per hour. I see you moving over there. I see, Germany wish they had this tank. Oh, I think I missed. That's also a you know casual one minute reload. So we're just gonna kind of roll back down the hill. Roll her back down the hill. The white trap something's hitting the ground like it's water. Yeah. I think that's actually what I need. I need to increase the roll wheel size. I also might need more loaders. And I just might need to stuff the loaders in the hull. I should have put a reload in you. Yeah. Yeah, they do. I mean, for a tank, this is probably... Oh, they blew each other up. Excellent. Thank you, gentlemen. I like how he's like, trying to run away and just keep moving to make us guess. It didn't help him. Are they trying to get around my flank? Yeah, they kind of, which is smart. Considering any tank that stays in front of us just explodes while we hit it. I like how he's just sitting there pinging away. Because he's hitting, but he doesn't have the penetration to get through the armor. And there, at one point, there was two of us. <laughs> just one of us now. Which is a shame. I'm actually drop the caliber back down to like a 90 millimeter gun or whatever. Just so there's two of these things rolling around. Because, you know, that's fair to these guys. I mean, it's war. We don't want to be fair. Hey, <laughs> hey, take tonnage. Yep. Oh, right there. Fast boy. I don't have any armor at the rear. Less armor at the rear. 
Excuse me, gentlemen. What do you, why do you think you can get around me? Why do you think you can get around me? Why exactly do you think you can get around me? If I was driving the inner tank, I would not want to be here. Oh, I hit the map border. <laughs> just see that two absolutely gigantic barrels just turn around and face you. And you, you're just waiting for what's going to happen. Like, inner data ammo? Like, what's going on? Oh, that's designer by mistake. Whoops. Whoops, it easy. Uh, let's tone it down. Base reload time, 19 seconds. Ammunition's in the turret. Loaders are in the turret. They're both loading. Oh, there's not enough space in the turret. Wait, <laughs> pull more ammo. Yeah. Oh, we're running into the problem of there's not enough space in the turret. We can fix that problem. Uh, do it to kind of. The gun mantle is now inside the turret. Um, hold on. You guys need to. Come back out, please. Please, uh, remove yourself from the turret. Physically, please physically remove yourself from the turret. Like, you, you don't need to be inside the turret. There we go. Where'd the driver's or the gunner's viewport go? It disappeared, so we'll put one there. And we're slightly overweight again. Oh, we'll steal some from the hall. We got empty space in the hall now. So this should be 19 and a half second reload. Should be. Keyword there. We'll put a second rack in the hull of 34 rounds. And can enter. Yeah, they're all loading as they should be. We'll just give a couple hatches on top. So they can technically get in and out, maybe. I don't know. Maybe some weird thing with the commander. Not quite fitting in, and then we need to steal from the main body to drop the weight to actually get in. It's actually looking a lot like an actual tank, minus the stupendously long barrels. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It works now. 19 second reload. I just, the commander was not there, so reload went down. 19 second reload. <laughs> Put on a 160 millimeter gun of this length. Quake in fear. For doom approaches. There's one dead. Probably a lot of the hall weight comes from this gun. Or guns. <laughs> Plural. Oh, one actually kind of penetrated. I think. He's dead. 
One of them partially penetrated? I think one of them partially penetrated. Still only less than halfway the mouse. I mean, the mouse is of 100 tons or so. And unfortunately, the game is saying, no, you can't go over 90 tons, or else I would have I gone bigger. In all regards, but, you know, game says no. Not allowed. Unfortunately. So we get the like 25 kilometers per hour. Hello, boys. Oh, must 188 tons. Oh, I thought it was 100 tons. Ah, huh. well, there's a correction for future knowledge. Like well, I can just sit here and stick these gun barrels over the train tracks, and they completely cover them. No trains are crossing today, boys. <laughs> that is great. I love it. Hello, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, we have one partial penetration. 98% blocked. Oh, wait, 100% blocked on their part. I think. I'm not sure. That's a weirdish screen for results. What's the mission here? Capture the crossroads. That will load. Mark 5. Mid-war. Oh, some stuff changed in the turret. Why did the turret change? Why did the turret change? Oh, I can actually get some space by doing that. Well, usually track gauges are around 1, 2 meters. <laughs> I think I already do that. Being killed for at the end of the road. End up, yeah. Ooh, we have more armor to play with now. Put just 25 millimeters on the front. Do, 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 do. Make sure it doesn't kill you first. I mean,. Gotta get through 200 millimeters of frontal plate armor. I mean, the turret's actually the weakest point. I mean, this is getting through 200 millimeters of armor. This, uh, this gun. So I think we're okay. I don't think I have to worry too much. Make sure they mess up the crew. Everybody, the crew's still okay. Excellent. Oh, we're, why are we over limit? Must be under 75 tons. Well, oh, you're just a spoil sport. Oh, so we're still in weird armor shape mode. There we go. Now it's 89 tons. Whoops. Okay, we're going to. Fun, fun. We're going to chop some weight off this gun. Unfortunately. And, uh... We can also just kind of steal some weight back from the compartments. We can also now massively reduce the turret. Because we don't need... All that. Wait. We can also probably s surprisingly like guns. Yeah, Sur really surprisingly like actually, and we can steal ammo out of the uh, hull to drop weight as well. Uh, we'll carry eight rounds in the hull, 
and 18 in the turrets. Which means we can also drop the turret compartment size. What's the crew at right now? Oh, we have two loaders. Uh, well, we don't need you. Drop a man out there. Can turret. Loader. I just barrel think this mattered. Banana would themselves. Yeah. They probably would. No, this is the Mark V B. B for better. Actually, is the engine still forty liter V ten? I think it'd be a forty liter V twelve with a target max RPM of twenty six hundred. And what's the transmission at? And an eighteen gear forward transmission. Better than hopefully it won't sink now. Well, I mean, I do have to, I do have to decrease some of the armor on the hull. Like, take some off the rear. Take a little bit off the side. There we go. I'm still keeping 140 in the front. A gear number is even new. It changes the amount of gears that has. So this has, this submission has... 18 gears forward, and that's uh, the amount of resistance, so the amount of, I think it's the amount of torque. Oh, by the way, this this series of mission weighs uh, 9,000 kilograms, 9,500 kilograms. <laughs> Good luck having to change that transmission out, boys. And the gun is still, what is that, 200 millimeters penetration. Oh, I should jack those up then. I think. I know you can do it too much, and it will, well, not have fun. So actually, we, oh, we blew up immediately. King Tiger. We bounced that time. There it is, I think. I think I hit. Yeah, I hit. Alright. Well, you have yourself a good dinner. I'll be over here doing a King Tiger. Where'd it go? It was over there. I mean, that was a good penetration. That shot me right to the side. Now, King Tiger. There it is. And that... Okay, that thing's got a very penetrative gun. Where'd they even hit? Where did that hit? Oh, they hit right through the front plate of the turret, I think. Oh, we're getting penetrating the turret. Okay. Oh, the cheeks of the turret. That's a weak point. Let's just buff those up as best we can. And give her some more angle, too. Never mind, it's raining. I'm just going to cook stuff at home. Oh, that, is, that is fair. Let's go and angle this. Hopefully not super crazy rain, though. The 
just trying to angle as much as possible on the shapes. There we go. 85, 63, oh, 65 degree front slope. I think ours is... Ours is 48 degrees. I mean, I can't actually get to 65 with this hull size. And wait, so... I mean, that's what I have to do, unfortunately. I mean, that's effectively 200 millimeters. I mean, the turret's still the weakest point, which is a shame. I don't. I mean, I can actually angle it more. Commander's got, like, no room in there, but... You'll have to do. Oh, so I think I got too many where the transmission is where there's not enough difference in the gear numbers to really have it do too much. We'll save a little bit of weight by doing that. Uh, metal 90%. Power level is 6. Hmm. Let's go down to 12 gears. It's only one tank. <laughs> we'll keep the engine as big as we have it. We'll actually put the max RPM to 2700 too. We'll drop the idle speed a little bit. Uh, that might work. Now, yeah, where is he? Oh, there it is. It actually bounced this time. This thing's got plenty of get up and go with this massive engine. There it is. Thankfully that bounced. I think. I don't know if I hit that or not. Alright, he just fired. Let's try and get over into the low ground again before he fires again. Oh, there we go. Because that was showing our roof to him. I think that might be a Ferdinand again. No, that's a King Tiger. Am I bouncing? Oh, I'm not penetrating. Oh. Okay. Oh, so the engine really dislikes this. All right, really stupid idea. I mean, stupid ideas are fun. Always go for the stupid ideas, because sometimes they work wonderfully. I need to get around him. And not show him my side. I'm gonna do it really see if England gets a gun in the back. Oh, like an archer. Just pull an archer. Luckily, I appear to have enough armor to bounce his gun even at this range. I, I missed, or did I? Hmm. I 
I think I missed. Oh, so I probably should have put more gears in. But it worked. We got there eventually. Here's <laughs> up the heavies. Uh, let's see. Metal hard limit, 150 tons. Do 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 do. do. I mean, it should work fine, <laughs> but we could go bigger. Hello, cannon. 250 millimeter cannon. Let's see. There we go. Small gun. We just now need to uh, change the shape of the hull a little bit. Make it a little bit longer. Make the turret a little bit longer. Make the turret a little bit higher. Turn a little bit higher. Turn a little bit higher. Why is it? Why is it actively folding in on itself? Hold on. Did I just find an exploit? But what is this? What have I created? Game has always done that. All right. Okay, good. Good to know it's not just me just breaking the game. <laughs> yep, exactly. I just casually just go and move that to the back there. Yes, this is how physics work. Uh, and the armor hasn't changed, so we are now an absolutely giant fox with a gun. Base reload of 63 seconds. Carrying... 26 rounds? 26 rounds. Actually, we can fit a little bit more in the hull. There we go. Extra 13 extra rounds. I'm curious. Uh, oh, it's almost a kilometer per second. Almost. 22 meter burn off for 90% of the burn off. So this is actually efficient having this 24 meter barrel. But could we go farther? No. No, no. All right. That's a 30 meter barrel. There it is. There's the perfect pixel I need to grab. The game was not intended to do this. The 36 meter barrel. Is the velocity increasing or decreasing? I can no longer tell. The velocity is increasing. Reload time is not. Come on. 
Uh, we'll, we'll add the extra meter on. 43 meter barrel. That's almost 850 meters per second. Almost 300 millimeters of penetration. The Mark VI. Ready the fire into space and put Stonehenge to shame. And spin. <laughs> Look at that thing spin. Look how fast this turret spins. Oh, there's a hatch just floating in the air. <laughs> How absolutely st how far the barrel is from the gun sight. It's like, ah, yes. Oh, the transmission is slightly collapsing on the front again. It's still kind of working, though. Ah, uh, this, this is wonderful. I am pleased. Corn is pleased by this. <laughs> stupendously large. Corn and both Zerg are both pleased by this stupendously giant cannon. <laughs> yeah, the, the front suspension slightly collapses. Like I said, stupid ideas. It's not stupid if it works. <laughs> Now, where, where are the tanks? I was promised tanks. I have found no tanks, though. With my 43 meter long 250 millimeter gun. Like, this is basically a Battleship Grey gun rolling around right now. Almost. It's like an 8-inch gun. Actually, no, this is eight. This is actually like an 8.5-inch gun. Because 8 inches is 203 millimeters. Where are the tanks? Fear me, tanks. There they are. Yeah, it's a heavy cruiser gun. Oh, up. I need to keep speed going up a hill, otherwise I just slide down it. Understood. Lesson learned. Takes a minute to reload. Oh, we're, we're rolling back down the hill again. Alright. Next hill. Next hill. I found the tanks. Tanks have been found, and they're going to be blown up. Aim the ones in front into first. Dead. Immediately. No question. Now, let me uh, just reload for a minute, gentlemen. Please hold. Don't reload on this. Also, uh, I think that I'm pretty much immune to their rounds. Unless they get my flanks. Because I still think I have weak flank armor. But head on, I'm immune. Let's wait for my long reload. Reload. That we woed. Do 
do, 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 do. This guy in front of me dies first, considering he's the closest to get around my flank. He no longer exists. He's been deleted from the universe. I am Thanos. Fear me. Oh, they killed each other. Excellent. Thank you, gentlemen. My g reload gunner greatly appreciate you. appreciates you. My loader. My reload gunner. Ah. Ah, well. <laughs> But yeah, it's good to see that the stupid ideas is working. After all, stupid ideas are sometimes the absolute best ideas. It's a bit stupid and it works. It's not stupid. Uh. Is that a Chiha shark gun? Oh, it shot through it. And so it didn't kill it. Hold on while I just back up at 25 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Ramming speed. I weigh more. <laughs> oh no, that's bad. That's actually really bad. That's really, really, really bad. That's really, really, really bad. Thank goodness he didn't penetrate my side. <laughs> Environment. I just got a maneuver kill. What a tank. Now, gentlemen, please just stay still and let it happen. I think that round was fired inside of him. Oh, we're halfway done. I guess there's more coming. I mean, I'm tempted to put another round in this just to make sure it's dead, but I think it's dead. Alright. There's, there's probably going to be more tanks coming. What about the, just the pure amount of bullet holes? Not bullet holes. Bounces off the front slope of this thing. This is what the FB4005 wished it was. This is the pinnacle of tank destroyer technology. Right here. Don't mind the fact it's over 100, it's 125,000 tons. No, 1,000 tons, 125 tons. Don't worry about that fact. <laughs> This is the pentacle. Oh, there's a slow tank coming. Oh. And our tank over there. Well, we'll kill the closer one first, obviously. Otherwise, it will, you know, get around us. Come here, buddy. It's time to die. Oh, Tiger 1 died to environment. Let a maneuver kill for our tally. <laughs> like I was like, yes. Tiger 1 versus... Oh, we're mobilized. Oh, they took our track. Well, that's a problem. Oh, well, they can't really penetrate us from the front, so, uh... Hello, gentlemen. There's two of you, I think. Please hold for another 20 seconds before I delete one of you. Are you firing? Yes, you are alive. Yep. 
Yes, keep. Keep doing that. Ding. It's like, oh, he's about to reload. Time to move. Oh, it landed just in front of him. Literally just in front of him. Ah, well. Time to hold. Well, uh, we've reloaded for another 40 seconds. Oh, they took out our check. Thank you for balancing us out. <laughs> we have become the pill, the world's most deadliest pillbox. Or the world's heaviest pillbox, rather. Actually, no, no, not the world's heaviest pillbox, but. World's heaviest improvised pillbox. We'll go with that. That works. Uh, driver, do you mind helping load? Since there's no need to drive anywhere anymore. You mind helping us load a little bit? Oh, that went over. Oh, I guess we're just gonna sit here and just slowly just blow them up and let us look at the range. I got 10 more fast reloads. Fast being 60 seconds and then it's on to like a minute and a half reload. Which is, uh, you know, not, I mean, not bad for a battleship gun. Well, actually, no, it's actually kind of bad for a battleship gun. Like, yeah, that is actually really bad for a battleship gun. It's actually suddenly wrong. Um, then again, we only have, like, a one guy lifting a 250 millimeter round by himself and loading it, like, the guy loading the thing is probably more dangerous than the tank itself. Hell, give him like a 70 millimeter round, he can throw that thing probably hard enough to penetrate these guys. <laughs> like, loader Hans is the most dangerous thing we have. In the tank right now, other than the gun. Like, once we run out of ammo again, we're just going to send Hans over to go and negotiate with the tanks. If I negotiate, we mean tear the barrels off and whack them with them. After all, you know, what else he going to do? I mean, technically, he could just carry the round over and just give it a light toss. <laughs> It'll probably do some damage. That hatch some go monkey on the crew inside, yeah. Exactly. I mean I'm actually curious now, how um, eighty rounds gonna weigh like a, a get up there and wait. Get up there a lot and wait. <laughs> oh, there's still something else. Something else we gotta wait for. Well this is kind that the uh Tank behind us. Don't see any more tanks in front. You know what? Once we're, re re once we're reloaded, we'll put a round into this guy back here. Just to be sure. You never know. He might still be counting as alive, but disabled. So we'll just swing this absolutely gigantic barrel. Hello, gentlemen. Please hope we reload and nothing come from behind us, please. I should probably wait till I'm reloaded. Just in case something comes from the front. Oh, no, there is. I saw for a brief moment something else. Uh, north, north, east ish. Swing the moon gun. I saw, oh no, that, that might have been a spot dirt on the screen, actually. Maybe. Or maybe there's something really slow coming. I mean, it's faster than us, considering we're stuck here. 
you know what? We'll probably be fine in terms of a slow thing. We'll just make absolutely certain that guy is dead, not just disabled. Like, I imagine the crewman waking up right now, like the commander waking up right now, just seeing that giant gun turn towards you. Oh yeah, he's dead. There's going to be something very slow approaching. Which is fine. I mean, we have a minute reload. So, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, hey, loader. Once you're done loading the doom gun, do you mind uh, sucking up on the ready rack? Yeah, we're going to have some time, I feel. I think we're going to have a bit of time. Considering, uh, well, it's still not here. Yeah, they're all burning dead. I mean, if they weren't dead after a hit like that, I'd be surprised. Hmm. There's something somewhere moving either very fast around us or very slow. I think it's moving very slow. Fight, I guess. Then again, yeah, I don't know. I can't go find it. They took my legs. I've been damned. Lieutenant Dan, they took my legs. Hmm. Ons, you gonna reload the turret at all? No, it doesn't look he's interested. Hmm. Because it's a Twitch faction for, I guess, a campaign or whatever. Hmm. Let's just, uh, go back to here so that we can actually hopefully have our tracks back. I know it's a shame we have to start again. Oh, there's the floating hatch again. Hello, hatch. Goodbye, hatch. But at least we have tracks this time. We can actually hopefully keep them. Hopefully, being a, a key word. A very key word on that uh, that front. Of course, watch watch it turn out that uh, they would have come right over to Hill right as I hit you know the return to designer. It also means we're gonna have to slow re reload for a while as we deal with the fast boys again, but. You know, the things we do sometimes for tracks. Also, why couldn't the guys just go out and repair the tracks? I mean, we do, I didn't give them any repair kits or, uh, you know, expert track links in general, so yeah, I, I kind of understand that. I mean, there probably was something super slow. Considering we drove all the way over here and we're only just now seeing the fast guys. I 
Friday number one is keeping our tracks alive. Oh, I missed. I hit right beside it. So, uh, back up real quick. To the next hill. They just kind of hide behind that hill. And then hopefully not hit the ground or miss. Because uh, the Hans is very unhappy when I miss right now, considering it's a minute reload. And there's only so many protein shakes we can have in the crew. I have actually just like, a protein shake per round, and that's part of the reason why it's taking so long as he has to t drink a giant thing of Gatorade or protein shake. Ooh, oh, that would have been perfect, like potentially double penetration. Ooh. Well, you're dead at the bare minimum. Which is like a pro giant protein shake has to be drinking every single time a reload happens. Alright, uh, it's time to, start, time to start backing up. Uh, and engage the beeper. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Can you imagine seeing something like this rolling back with just like a little beep, beep? Oh, they're actually getting around the flank. They can actually penetrate me on the f side. Kind of. Alright, so let's, uh. Count down the gun slightly. Show 160. We're still gonna get the stupidly long barrel. Actually, is there anything? Oh, it's only 8 BHE. Alright. It's also 90 tons. A lot of that weight, hold on, like 30 tons of that weight was the gun barrel. Plus the velocity actually increases slightly. Like, even at a 100 millimeter gun, we still... <laughs> hold on, hold on. Can I select that now? I can select it, make it longer. Uh, make it longer. And longer. Can we get it? Just by tweaking this gun around. And then going back to compartments because I don't need this. I can make it so there's two of these things. This looks like some weird future tank. Oh, whoop. Hold on. Uh. There we go, cannon. What we do is we just drag out the ones on the end first. Listen, here's the smart thing. Here's the smart way. You get 10 segments. We drag the segments at the end at first.
that way we can stay down here and still maybe be able to grab them I can no longer see them it's kind of a problem for trying to grab and drag uh, when you they just despawn So we can I can drag this out as much as possible. Let's see, reduce recoil. A ninety-three millimeter gun with a fifty-three meter long barrel. It's laser accurate. <laughs> Moves it. Still a hundred... Eight second reload on 85 mm gun that's laser accurate. 172 mm of penetration, which should be plenty. Come on, what's AP do? If we go to AP... 172, oh, it's just AP, G or AP. I don't think anything's penetrating this thing. I, I, somehow, 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 I doubt that's happening. We've made like a weird MBT future tank with like a rail gun in it. And we're going to have two of these things. Uh, ammo, uh, the cannon is 5% of the blast of this tank. Eh, good to know. Mark 6B. It weighs 71 tons. Uh, just to make sure the crew is set up correctly. Yeah, loading and firing, yep. Yeah. Look at the commander can't actually see anything, because his... His cupola is on the reverse slope of the turret. Actually, hold on. No, back to designer. Uh, mobility. No, we need more gears. There we go. Give it 18 gears forward. Moving along at 30 kilometers per hour. A 53 meter barrel. I think if I'd done this better, I could have had. <laughs> that <thing> go! <laughs> I love it! I love it, I love it, I love it. If I'd done this better, I could have had. A 60 meter barrel. <laughs> But, you know, this 53 meters is close enough. Close enough for government work. I think Poland tried to make that some years back. Yeah, I did see something about that. For a design that look kind of like this. I know the new Leclerc's look awesome. They don't have a whole lot of ammo, but they look awesome. Hold on, I can't. I need to move so I can see through the hull. Dead. Oh, it doesn't make as satisfying a noise though. The noise is not quite as good, but you know what? We can live with it. Still kills them just as well. It's still basically impervious to damage, unless you show them the side. Oh. They took our track. Again. 
But there's a second one of us now, so we can drive around with him. There he is there! <laughs> Just see the barrel clippings in the ground! Oh my god, this thing is terrible and beautiful at the same time. I love it. Oh, I shot over him. <laughs> Just this stupidly long barrel. Slowly climbing up over the hill. Alright, let's switch to him. That way we have control of the moving vehicle. And we have... Let the AI have the guy who's sitting there. Stuck on the hill. Have fun, AI. There they are, way out there. I actually almost hit him. Was not expecting that. Oh, that's what it was. It was a giant tank that never got over a hill. That's what happened last time. Oh, that was short. But no, that's why we never ended. It's because there's a tank that got stuck because it couldn't go up the hill. Oh, that was high. All right. Where's a save over when you want one? Does that be interesting? Just it's like a save over round at him. Two hundred fifty millimeter save over round. That's one way to make an entrance. Oh, that bounced. Hit the turret. Uh, our friendly killed one. What round was that? I feel like an auto cannon myself. Yeah. Let's let her bounce. Did I show from behind us? <laughs> you can't even see the barrel full. Of oh my god. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, I shot over him. Oh, hmm, this is where that bigger round would have been nice. Because uh, we're actively bouncing off these guys. There we go. And of course, this is where it goes into actually damaged for some reason. Which shouldn't hurt too much. Oh, I think I, I think that tank caught a round. It did catch a round. Stop, you're not supposed to catch rounds. Like that, there we go. Now let's close range a little bit. Get to the next hill at least. So that we can uh, get be closer, have a better view of them. For a, in our massive pink. I right, so it's just the speed this turret goes when it gets up to speed. It's just and slow, 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 and then we're off to the races. Like in real life, that would bend this barrel in half. Oh, that was that was a little bit low, nearly though. Nearly though. Oh, that was a little bit high. We're bracketing him. I think it was a little bit low again. Actually, guess what? They got penetrated by something.
There we go. Ah, oh, you're already easy to shoot. Oh, I bounced. I must have hit right on the bottom of the thing. Oh, well. It's not a problem. I, I must be hitting right below it. Oh, again. Just aim up a little bit. And it's dead. Excellent. Come here, buddy. Oh, you actually partially penetrated. Oh, hit the ground. He's a bit farther away. Oh. Close. But yeah, an auto cam would be very nice. Oh, that bounced off the turret. There we go. There's still something else out there. Oh, we're about to lose our engine. Our engine is not happy. Oh yeah, the big tank on the hill that we could barely see. That got that got stuck. That guy. Hmm. If our engine dies, that we that could be a problem getting to him. In order to shoot him. Hello, big guy. Oh, I actually almost hit him right away. Oh, he's dead. But where's the last one, then? Hello? Tank? Where are you? Come out and play. I only want to blow you up a little bit. Oh, that's the gunner's periscope. I thought that was like a round stuck in the tank. I think that squeaky noise is the tank hitting the ground. But I'm not sure. There's like one tank left somewhere that got stuck. And I need to go find it. That absolute, this thing looks like when it elevates. It's so stupidly hilarious and I love it. There you are. Yeah, you got stuck. Did, some, did somebody else take your track? Why don't you friendly take your track? No, you're just sitting there. All right. <laughs> Low turn. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hundred tons, so these tanks will do actually just fine. Here, <laughs> the auto save tanks. Oh, we only get one of them. Ah, oh, well, it should work. I mean, it's not like the trees will get in the way or anything. They were to wait war. Hundred forty is no longer the top. Actually, in that case, this is late war. Let's do two hundred four millimeters. Still an APHG. I was about to say. Sabo? Sabo? No Sabo. Shame. Shame. But this thing should do fine. I'll actually slope the hull on the sides a little bit more. And if I can get away from it on the turrets, too. This thing is basically just a future tank in... 1940s. 
effectively. With a... I'm not sure the commander's doing things, but he's doing them, bless him. Considering his, his position is actively looking at the rear of the tank, unable to see forwards. Bless him. Also, turn up the torque a little bit. The shield of protective when he opens that. Yep. I could still I could toggle hand cranked. Ten times slower. The bark nine. We're getting more and more angled as we go. Slowly becoming triangle. Return to wedge. I didn't even check what the mission was. What's the mission? Win the battle. Roger that. One more army time. I think we're still doing like a clutch turning transmission as well. Ooh. Where did it hit? Well, it hit the side. Is there side armor on the hull? Oh, it's only 85. We're going to have to de-angle slightly in order to increase the uh, thickness a little bit. Da Vinci tank, yep. <laughs> We're going up against the King Tigers or whatever, which I think we should have the penetration to kill. I think that bounced. Yeah, we're bouncing. And I can't go and flank it this time because there's another one. Is that like a panther or something like that? It's got a, it's got a 50 cal on top. It's called a splatter one. Of course it's called a splatter one. Wait, are you turning your turret sideways to me? See, why would you do that? Oh, maybe it lost me. Oh, we're being outflanked. We're being outflanked. Thank you for missing. I no, don't turn sideways to it. Don't turn sideways to it. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. I think Panthers can show up this one. These are like the clerks. Bad the clerk. I need to get distance because my barrel's too long. No, bad Leclerc. No Leclercs. Bad Leclercs. Where's the tiger gone? Where'd the tiger go? Where's the start? I'm now lost. We're being shot at where? Who? Ow, over there! There we go, I'm oriented it again. Oh, there was somebody shoot at me. Oh, there's two of these things. And one of them is right there. Come on, show me your lower plate. Lower plate? Thank you! I punched his meal ticket. Oh, 
Thank you for just sitting still in the open. Oh, I bounced off the bottom. Uh, aim a little bit higher. That that just didn't go through the front. I was trying to hit the bottom plate again. What about hitting for the turret cheeks? That bounced. I was aiming high, though. Because I want to hit right beside the gun mantlet. Please, thank you. I like it that goes click whenever it fires. It's a very interesting sound. The lower art angle if you want to make my resistant tank. Probably ejecting the casing. That could be it. Oh, it's no longer, no longer clicking. Oh, that's a shame. But yeah, that's like a little clerk. That's like a modern main battle tank. Fighting with a king tiger. Oh, I hit underneath him. Oh, I took his track. I cannot see. There's a tree now on my face. Oh, I, again, doesn't work inside of him. Doesn't work inside of him. Don't show him the rear, don't show him the rear. No rear. No bad tiger. Bad tiger. Bad cat. Oh, again, I'm too close. I'm too close. Too close. Too close. Gotta get distance again. Going this way now. Goodbye. I'm still too close. Oh, I hit the tree so hard I died. <laughs> I mean, I got a little bit of weight. Hello, gun. Let's increase you in size. No. Oh, yeah, because I got ammunition in the hull. Uh, remove the hull ammunition. Make it a 120, almost. 100 millimeter. Moving at almost a kilometer per second. On a 53 meter long gun barrel. It should be to my front, somewhere. There's some of them. There's them. Oh, where'd it hit? Where did that hit? Did that fall through space-time because of my weird turret angles? Um... Don't start inside the Commander Scapola of Doom. Oh, I think it's a sound bug. Where is that hitting? What is that hitting? It went from bouncing to just going straight through. Did I cross some weird white threshold where... Suddenly they got bigger guns. I might have done that. Oh, well, that was high. That was high and a half. Am I getting shot in the flank? I don't think I am. Oh, yeah, I am. Because that's now an AMX 150C1. I crashed into the main battle tank territory by mistake. That's why I'm up in the caliber of the gun. Oh, 
Did that bounce? How thick is that? How thick is that turret cheek? Oh, I guess I wasn't wrong with them being the clerks then, considering uh. I think that's Le Leclerc, or basically similar to Leclerc. Where's the rest of them gone? Oh, over there, on the right, or left flank. Another King Tiger. Of course it's a King Tiger. Of course, I hit just below where I wanted to hit. I'm trying to hit the commander's cupola. Go through that. See, see, you see, there, Hans. You don't have to worry about your cupola getting hit if your cupola is behind the turret. Except for if you get hit from behind, then, you know. You gotta worry about it then. Oh, wait, hold on. Give me your lower plate. Give me your lower plate. Give it. Or a side shot. I'll take a side shot too. Oh, that bounced. Oh, I should have waited. I should have waited. That was the perfect side shot and I rushed it. Oh, come on. Look, look at this man. He's just sitting there. Perfectly angle set. He bounces every single shot. Oh, that's over. Still trying to hit the commander's hatch. Come on, give me your lower plate. Give me something to work with here, buddy. Where the hit? They can go through my plate, but I can't go through theirs. That's a 138. We all have to adjust the size of the turret a little bit. Create a small rift into space time. I'm sure space time won't mind if it's for a good cause, like not like a big giant gun. The gunner's optic. Is in a terrible spot. Oh, so now it's not letting me. It fits on the side. Right there. Right at the base of the turret. That's nowhere near aligned with the gun at all. Hmm. Hmm, yes. Hmm, yes, that... That periscope... Definitely works. Can I get a trick? No. It works fine on the sides. I 
can mount it sideways on the mantle. Oh, there. I mean, that's better. It's actually in line with the gun. It's actually exactly in line with the gun. What was that? That was something that flew over my head. Go this way real quick. Just punt some trees away. That's a different tank. Those are different tanks. Super Cromwells. Okay, that's good. Thank you for spawning different tanks. And then a lawmaker got me from somewhere. I wonder if it's hitting the fold in reality and going through there. It kept hitting the fold in reality and going through the fold in reality. It's probably going through the fold in reality. Ooh, that's a T-44. Style tank. Come here, buddy. You know you want to stay still. Thank you. Oh, it bounced. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. You look like just like Cromwell or something like that. You look like it should just go right through you. Oh, something's on our flank. Ooh, up there. Oh, that bounced. Because I hit that at a super weird angle. But we're being massively outflanked. Massively outflanked. That's a tree. Uh, reload faster. Loader. 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 Loader, please. Loader, please. Please, loader. Uh, this is where a long barrel comes in to bite me in the ass. Try to back away from this thing. As it ran me down. <laughs> All right, well, as much as I don't want to, we'll take a couple lengths off the barrel. It doesn't change any numbers about the thing. <laughs> Makes it more wieldy, though. Although it's a shame to lose the 53-meter barrel. It will be missed. It will live forever in our hearts. Oh, kill. Salamander. Oh, there's that heavy guy again. That bounced the last time. I mean, thank you for showing me side. Oh, that hit high. I think. I think I hit high and bounced off the side. Or off the turret. I could have done better there. Ooh, that was a flank shot. Why not a lawmaker? It's either getting good on the flanks, or that's got a really big gun that can just punch right through us. Possibly both. Well, that bounced. Should have taken the other tank first. Still six seconds. I can kill you. Especially if you stay still like that. Alright, starting to take shots. Oh, there you are. That took my track. That's bad. 
stay still. I checked both my tracks. And I checked my life. But that round hit. I think that hit the side. I think this is one of those ones where you need to have uh, multiple tanks. If I had to guess. If I were a betting man. No, don't, don't change a name. Just want to make it lighter. No, that won't get more tanks, unfortunately. Let's drop it down to a one hundred millimeter. Drop some barrels off. Actually, check them all the way down to that. Just that turns quicker. In that case, then we can reduce the size of our turrets. Make it even more weirdly angled. How these hatches work, nobody knows, but they apparently still work. As they fold into space time itself. Oh, I, I fixed the space time fold. Uh, my, my sight is now floating. We've got a magic sight. We'll take it. Actually, uh, oh, it's only in the turret. All right, and it's only still APHE. All right. I say, can we get any more stuff? Yeah, we got magic floating site. God help the gunner. <laughs> God help the gunner, cause he needs it. Oh, and I've immediately injured half the, of the crew by running into a tree. You know, maybe if I tone down the engine on this thing, I might be able to get enough weight down that I can actually have multiple tanks. That might actually work out. T-34. Oh, that was high. That was way high. Environment? Oh, I ran to the map border. Alright, uh, engine. I don't think we need a 48 liter V-12 anymore. I don't think it's required. We still can't get more than one of us. We're just too darn heavy. Maybe if I drop a little tiny bits of armor. Little tiny bits of armor. That's gonna make us more susceptible to being killed. If we can get two of us. I don't think we can get two of us. Go up the sides a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it's 218 millimeters penetration. That should go through most everything. Except for one that doesn't. Say, what do they need for me to go back to having you know, multiple tanks? Oh, 
Oh, so I wonder if dropping the weight drops what types of tanks spawn. That could drop what types of tanks. I still love the floating gun sight. Wait, hold on. Oh, camera on the side. And no, it doesn't appear to, because that's still a, a 58C. Is it like the old gun sight from Relic Days Gone Past? It is. It's now been removed. So I don't understand why it's going like, oh, you can only get one tank. Maybe some weird weight thing, I don't know. I have no clue. Alright. Everything's fine. We'll give it one more try. And then that'll probably be it for me today. Because then I gotta figure out how to or where to download the VOD and then upload it to the YouTube channel because I actually have a YouTube channel now for VODs that way VODs will actually stay around for longer than seven like two weeks what's a panther that didn't kill it that, that, oh that took the track okay let's see how did it not kill the panther? That just bounced. No, it didn't take the track. Oh, that bounced again. Hmm. You're dead. That's the track gone. Hello, fast boy. You're dead. I think there's something else over here. I know you're still shooting us. Oh, that got caught in the... That got caught in the mantle. That's cheating. He says, driving a wedge tank. With folds in reality. What should me over here? Oh, another panther thing, which I bounced. And it's bouncing me, so. Oh, there's one right behind us. Alright, they came from behind. I said one more time. One more try. It's like one more turn. Except, uh, tanks. Oh, that was high. That was way high. That's dead. Oh, that's a tank destroyer. Sow tank. Instead of a tank, sow tank. Why are we bouncing so much? Oh, that bounced. We're about to get shot in the flank. Because they're coming. Where is it? There it is. Give me that bottom. Give me that blower plate. Oh, I went right underneath. And then we got shot somewhere. But it blew up the ammunition. I do like that the ammo vents out the hatches like it actually would. Because, you know, there's no blow-up panels for the ammo. So, cooked off the ammo and poof, out the lowest point of resistance, which is the hatch. Because they're designed to open. Ah, there we go. Quit the main menu. 
said, that was a very nice little, very nice little stream of uh, well, messing around with the tanks. <laughs> I quite enjoyed it. I'll probably do something tomorrow. Like I got my uh, the blow up panels in the hall, out of the hall. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is the blow up panel. The hall is a blow up panel. I'll probably do something tomorrow. I got my little the whole creative stuff on the YouTube that I want to do immediately done. So, if you want to see what I did with those, it's over there. The VOD will go over to YouTube as well. Once I, you know, get it downloaded and then uploaded again. So there's a YouTube. <laughs> Ta-da! It took a year, but I got around to setting up one for that. And then it might not be used anymore, considering, uh... I'm actually considering... Like, I'm thinking about it. Throw it in because they got the whole gamer thing with Eiji Sanji. Just going, ah, we'll just chuck it in there. See what happens. Worst that happens is... I can maybe get some pointers. <laughs> Best case scenario, I can suddenly do this as a job. I mean, more restrictions. Which is a shame, but... I would greatly prefer doing this over doing my normal job. So, I'm still mauling on it. I'm still, I'm leaning towards the side of, you know, what the hell, throw your hat in. See what happens. Worst that happens is nothing happens at all. And it keeps going as is. Middle case scenario is you learn something from it. So, I don't know. I also think on it more. I mean, I got till the, I got nine more days or whatever, if I do want to throw something in. So we'll see. But yeah, the YouTube channel should be linked in the about section on the Twitch. I mean, and so I'll probably make a decision tonight, tomorrow, because then I need, because next week is even if I. Well, next week's going to be fun, I'll tell you that much, for streaming. Uh, because there's gonna be, guaranteed going to be nothing Wednesday, even if I don't do anything else tonight, or Sunday, technically. Because i got to work a double shift on Wednesday. i got to go in for 5 o'clock, after I get off at 8.30. So, nothing Wednesday. Nothing Tuesday, because I had to go into the... HQ in order to actually exchange my shirts because I went in yesterday and the person, the only person with the key to the storage room where all the uniforms are, the new ones, was on vacation. And they got back Monday. Or get back Monday. Except I'm not going to be able to drive in Monday. And there will be something Thursday though because I get off at midnight Wednesday, so probably something long Thursday. <laughs> so try and make up for all the dead nothingness. As well as a return of raid, because 6.2 comes out on Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. So I might actually devolve into just Island Sanctuary for a bit, <laughs> if nothing else. But either way, if we decide to apply with Niji, I'll, I'll make sure to go, hey, you know, I'm going to throw my hat in and see what happens. So, if I suddenly disappear. Either way, have yourself a good day, night, whatever time it is. Hopefully you enjoy your uh, supper there, Gertie. Take care and, you know, I might see y'all tomorrow. I'll decide and see. Have a good day, everybody.